There we go. Almost missed miss the... Please welcome your host. All right. Let's the see those shoes. Awards, Let me open this. Jeff the creator of the Game Awards. Yeah. Woo! Our, our rules are on screen. Oh, you're right. That's okay. That Take a minute. shot for Kojima. Let's see those shoes, Oh, you Jeff. pointed at people. Woo! This guy, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> finger this guy. guns, finger guns. I like it when, like... When uh, celebrities do the baton pass on stage and they do that little lean in and then oh, the yeah. whisper and then they're like, ha, 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 and then they just keep going. Guten Abend, Gamescom! Oh, I should have, fuck, I should have. It's a German. Should have been a rule for not German, speaking in English. Yeah. Watching around. What color are is his shoes? Blue. Those aren't blue. We're Those taking a shot. Brown. We said that if we, uh, his shoes yeah, are blue, we were not taking a shot. Fans the shoes are not blue, so we will be taking well, a shot. We usually do like an opening shot. Anyway. That, that's true. You're right. Yeah. No, that's this account. I can't believe we're seeing the creator of the Game Awards. No, guys, they don't do graphic tee and blazer anymore. That's that's out yeah. of style. It's been out of style for a long time. That's a mid 2010s thing. Yeah. They all wear better suits now. <laughs> AI crowd. All right. Oh, if AI is mentioned, I'll do a shot. They're never going to okay. mention AI. Yeah, they, they will not mention AI. Show even more accessible. Cheers, Bruce. Cheers to Lawrence and Jeff. To Jeff's kicks. Oh. Mm. Now, while well, the game Ooh. industry certainly has faced challenges this year, <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you excited uh, oh. here this year. <laughs> God, yeah. Some room temperature vodka at 11 a.m. Always hits. You're going to see world premieres <laughs> from studios big and small, including, yes, some new game announcements. Oh, they said challenges? He said faced uh, challenges. I knew it. Yeah, oh, whatever. That counts. Sure, I'll do it. Does it? Okay. Monster Give me that peach shit. Okay. Let's do that peach shit. But it was like a half a sentence. Well, we knew it would be. Yeah. It's been a tumultuous year. And that's it. Yep. We faced challenges. And I am so honored and grateful to have the opportunity to present these games to you. Ugh. Challenges. We faced challenges. To a challenging year. So games come. <laughs> Sensi variety for the world premiering. The world premiering. <laughs> Oh, he was so happy. Uh, first world premiere, a Here's brand Bruce. new game announcement. This Ooh. one hasn't leaked, and it's exclusive Ugh. right Ooh. here. World oh, premiere. That was terrible. World premiere. World. Premiere. I'll take a drink. For, I'll take a drink for every world premiere. Damn. Okay. Oh, Borderlands. Mm -mm. It's got to be Borderlands. Borderlands Four? No way. They're not going to start out this with Borderlands. Oh, they are. Ah. Oh. Borderlands has never been hotter. Uh, because what's her fucking name is a is a uh, phoenix now or whatever. Good for you on even knowing the story details uh, of Borderlands. Dude, Borderlands 3 sucked dick. I really liked the game, but I hated the story. <laughs> Where's Ava or whatever? The same dudes are writing Borderlands 4 though, which is scary. Wait, uh, as the movie? No, no, as the as the as Borderlands 3. Oh no, it's gonna be a bunch of quips. It's gonna be a bunch of people quipping. But even the like. The quips, I don't even mind. I can I can ignore the quips. I, can, I, mean, I don't know that I can. They were the, they were so fast and furious. The fucking wisecracking preteen they saddled you with the whole fucking game. It would not shut the fuck up. I feel like nobody. Wasn't Chris Hardwick in Borderlands Three and he wouldn't shut the fuck up? Like everyone wouldn't shut the fuck up in that game. Are we? Is this like a Terminator thing? What's going on? Hoop, <sighs> ask bar. And the crowd goes, eh. <laughs> We... All right, you know, whatever. I mean, they already, we ever, everybody already knew that. We yeah. knew Borderlands 4 was it. All was, right, that's right. Borderlands 4 is coming. <laughs> Lawrence is clapping as hard that's as he can. I mean, <laughs> Borderlands is fun. You just got to mute it. Black Ops 6. That's true. Debut an extended look at the campaign gameplay. Please welcome John Zuck and Catherine. Oh, my God. I'm actually really excited for this because I think this looks like not good and a lot of people are saying it I think, I think a lot of people are saying it looks good and i don't think it looks good i'm really curious to see yeah me too i don't know why people are really excited about this black ops when it all looks black the same <laughs> I, I don't understand it's the last franchise that anyone cares about inside of call of duty they burned out modern warfare already so now it's black ops six yeah new multiplayer the last sub franchise omni movement <laughs> two brand new zombies experiences on day. Oh yeah, zombies is back, which is cool. We'll that's cool. Two zombies. I would, I would, I think that's cool. Warzone gameplay at the Call of Duty next. Another game. studio closure. Can you imagine they are uh, just <laughs> announcing <laughs> studio closures yeah. at Gamescom? <laughs> You'll be able to join World the Premiere. We're closed. To try out the Sorry. Brand new <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Who's this guy? A <laughs> world premiere. Today, we're we're close. Yeah. <laughs> they world premiere layoffs. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> world premiere. Look under your seat. <laughs> Bungie's laying off 40 people. If you have a pink slip, you know what that means. <laughs> Of oh, did you see? Oh, I meant to send this to you for Inside Games. They've been saying that Sony is apparently showing that people have pre-ordered Black Ops when they haven't. Oh, yeah. Did you see that? I have. Well, that's been that's been happening for a while. I, yeah, no, I know. And I, more people are noticing now. So I was like, I wonder if we should do an Inside Games because that's, that's absolutely fraud. 100% fraud. Like, you can't say someone's ordered something if they haven't ordered it. <laughs> I mean, I, I've seen for a while that, like, uh, those, those like, interface layers will show you that people are playing games they haven't played, have gotten achievements they haven't gotten. That's crazy. Yeah. It's, it's all lies. Guys, when you go on the internet, everything is fake, and it's all designed to get you to spend money or time. <laughs> That's it. Like, it's for real. Yeah. Um, I don't know. That's why I don't like ecosystems like that, because yeah. eventually they start bending every rule. Yeah, absolutely. All right, here we go. Gameplay. I want to see that Omni movement. I hope there's I still like dive backwards and then dive forwards and yeah, dive left and dive right. Dive and spin around in 360. <laughs> I, I, I hope that there's still like decisions and stuff. Oh, Bill Clinton. They actually had Bill Clinton in the game. Is that Dukakis? Or was that Potatoes Man? I've marked Dan Quayle? Dan Quayle. Was that Quayle? I don't, I don't know. think I was. Take your pick. They may not do like actual figures in the story anymore because of. Well, no, it said Bill Clinton on the text. I did, but I don't think he'll be like a character that you talk to. You oh, know? I got you. Black men and a senator with sex tapes. Can't be. Hey, don't get me wrong. I'm going to play this. This will be. This will be fun and stupid. Yeah. But I don't know. Like, it's. I don't know how how it could possibly be any different than the other ones. Same fucking uh, engine too, right? Well, Treyarch, Treyarch is, has been experimental with their campaigns. Uh, yeah. If that's what you're curious about, I haven't played Cold War yet, but Cold War was not. I mean, it wasn't good. You didn't like it? No. Oh, okay. No. All right. It's fine. It's like again, it's like passable, you know. Oh, you're like a journalist. You got to take photos and stuff. I modified the infrared image to highlight the capillaries in the senator's retina. Oh, uh, it's like Mission Impossible One. Chunky 90s spy tech. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Please help. Looks like he can see his nipple. That's not his nipple, it's blood. It does look like his That's nipple. Blood. You must be Pantheon. Hey, you're the new blop. <laughs> Rough day at work, huh? Oh, hey, you're finally awake, Blop. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There's the cod. Ah, uh, this score is boring. Ah! Okay, all right. There's a little. I was hoping it'd be all like '90s EDM, like the trailer. I really wish we could get Kevin Spacey back. Can you imagine Kevin Spacey time traveling to be the bad guy in Black Ops Six. That would be so cool. Well, by the time they do Advanced Warfare 2, it'll be fine. Well, Kevin Spacey's already cleared of all charges, so now he can be what in whatever he wants. He did get dropped into, like, a firestorm, though. But then he could come back with a cyber body. <laughs> is that the Robert Redford guy? Oh, wait, maybe it is, yeah. Oh! Oh, never mind. I thought they were rewinding to show you could play the level a different way. Nope, it's just VCR stuff. Hey! hey! He did it. He omni-moved. People 10 years ago couldn't conceive of that. And now here we are. <laughs> what? Yeah. That's not true. Video games had that. They did, actually. Yeah, yeah they've totally had that. We were playing Action Half-Life one billion years ago. <laughs> That's why I, when everyone was like, COD never had that before. I was like, they didn't? I didn't even realize. Controller players can't handle all that freedom. Mm. Got him. Man, he's kind of a bad shot, huh? Nice work. Yeah, COD invented everything, Skyrim invented everything else. <laughs> Halo Combat Evolved gets an honorable mention for being the first first-person shooter ever made. <laughs> you first, Adam. Man, I love it. <laughs> Time-traveling pedophiles. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know That's the worst thing for a pedophile to have. You know what's worse is time-traveling murderers. Time-traveling pedophiles. Yeah, they can get everyone. Everyone's a child to a time-traveling pedophile. <laughs> Damn, no one's safe. Metal Gear. 
Here. Second floor basement. Has that ever been a, a movie of like a time traveling pedophile and then the detective who's trying to get him? And then all of a sudden he gets like PTSD because he just got molested in the past? <laughs> no, I don't think so. No, that's the, well, we that, got an idea on our hands, don't we? <laughs> this never happened. I'm telling you, it's Mission Possible 1. Uh, Except Emilio Estevez didn't get smashed into the ceiling. I got raided. <laughs> I got raided by hey. uh, Ryan from Yellow Card. Uh, hey, right we're on. watching Gamescom's uh, presentation. So, and we're also talking about time traveling pedophiles. We're talking about very family safe topics. So don't worry. <laughs> <I know. laughs> and we're drinking, just so you know. Yeah, that uh, might might have, some, might have something to do with it. Yeah, this is Black Ops Six. That is Robert the Robert Redford character. Yeah, yeah. I haven't played. Oh, I got raided. Ferret King. Nice. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Sorry everyone. about the time traveling pedophiles. Yeah. Well, it's not our fault. You know, we didn't we didn't make them or give them these terrible powers. <laughs> 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 Dude, the Clinton years were so rad. Imagine everybody getting upset about the pr the president getting a blowjob. I mean, everyone got really upset about that. I remember they did. outrage for, like, months. But in the span of our lifetimes, we got another president that's so much worse. Like, a, a hundred thousand times worse. And somehow that's okay. Half the, half the American populace, the, like, bastion of moral value base, thinks that's totally fine. It doesn't make any sense. It'll never make any sense to me. It's weird, right? It's almost like it's not about that. It's almost like it's about everything else. Weird. Homing knives! Whoa! Wait, what? I had those in the 90s. Why not just throw a grenade? I don't understand. Because <laughs> this is cooler. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. Oh, it's got an American flag on it! Come on, Bruce! Wait, why do they have these dirt bikes here at this rally? At the... <laughs> the at Bill the Clinton rally. Clinton rally? <laughs> Because like he's a young, hip, cool president. Oh, I love that. I love when characters ask they ask you that. They go, "Ever do anything like this before?" Hell of a first day, huh, Rook? <laughs> 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 no. oh, oh, you ripped off of a cop car, dude. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if this were a movie trailer, I'd want to watch this movie again. Like these, I love these campaigns. These are so stupid. But you play them once and forget anything about them. Like you don't remember anything about them other than Kevin Spacey. <laughs> <laughs> You don't remember Josh Duhamel? Oh yeah. Well now I do, now that you've mentioned him. You remember Chris Maloney? Barely. Yeah, I barely too. I even just started that game again and I barely remember it. They're I'm not showing when you die over and over. They're like, uh, Bill Clinton died! And then they flash up the, a quote from Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or sucks, huh? Slavery's bad. <laughs> <laughs> start the level but they've over. started branching out. Now they're quoting their own characters, which sucks. They're oh, like quoting they their own that fictional sucks. COD characters. Yeah. Kit, was Kit Harrington in COD? Really? Yeah. Wow. He was, uh... Wait, which one was he in? I didn't. Somebody said Kit Harrington in my chat. He was. Call of Duty next, and now I'm honored to introduce my co-host for Opening Night Live. Co-host? know her from her years of hosting League of Legends. Is it Curious Joy? Did you know that she got her start as a competitive Unreal Tournament player? What? That's right. Oh, Thanks Infinite. Welcoming to ONL, Shox! Welcome, Shox. Who's Shox? Is she going to talk about League? Welcome to Unreal Tournament. That is uh, quite the throwback. Oh, is she from League? I'm so excited to That's be That's what they said, yeah. Oh, S-J-O-K-Z. That's right. I saw, yes, okay. ...events happening during this Gamescom week in Columbus. You know what? Gamescom Jeff, really is he the heard the complainers. He said, every year, and I will so get a co-host. Thank you very much. I mean, he usually has a, a lady to throw to, right? Well, but that's usually like at the beginning of Game Awards. Then he does the Game Awards for the entire three hours or whatever. Well, let's see how much screen time she has. She's the co-host. Did he introduce her as a co-host? Yeah, he said, I, my co-host of, of Opening Our Life. All right. Places. That you have friends from oh, I meant to put in sizzle reel about something that's not games. Well, I guess this is still gaming related, but this is still gaming related. It's more like the culture pieces. Oh boy, there better not be a fucking like meta. Take a drink. I'll, I'll drink. Do you, oh, do you not have a real drink? <laughs> I got. I got. I, let me go get one out of the fridge. I want to see what you're gonna shitty. miss out on this fucking. Oh, it's just a games thing. console. Okay. I thought there was gonna be like a soulless mega corp that was gonna try yes, to convince the us they care. Is here and we All right, I'll be right back. The future's here, Lawrence. Well, the future's here. Fun You're fun. missing the future. Oh, you think they're gonna bring Dr. Disrespect back? Today? Can you imagine? I would love that. During Gamescom, Dr. Disrespect is back. And he's a time traveling pedophile. <laughs> Rebooting Dr. Disrespect. 
Oh, you got a, a Sapporo. Nice. Ooh. I like where this is headed. Video game jail. Yeah, it's, that's exactly what this is. Yep. Ah, uh, Skyrim. Look at all these video game cliches. Finally awake. Ah, we love it, don't we? Air to the knee, folks. I can't figure out what this is. Air to the knee. What, what will they be teasing here? Video game glitch jail. Hey, I remember Giraffe Neck. Yeah, this feels like an ad. Oh, it does, I remember right? Giraffe Neck too. They're I gonna tell me to sign up for uh, all state insurance pretty soon. I think it's supposed to be like Arkham, right? That's kind of cool. Oh, it's Goat Simulator. Goat Simulator? Yeah. yeah. All right. All right, that's funny, I guess. <laughs> that's what they wanted. That's the, that's the reaction <laughs> they wanted. Okay, that's funny. Oh, he got out. Oh, no, the goat got out. Goat Simulator, by the way, is fun. It is a fun video game. I just re That's a Cape Fear reference, isn't it? Probably. Doing the, like, the dips with love and hate on your knuckles. This is not a bad trailer. Yeah, it's all right. It's fun. Is this four? Oh, no. It's three, three right? Remastered. Oh, it's the first the one. Fuck. Okay. Just make a four. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Taking a sip for remaster. Opinion, uh, oh, okay. All right. Like Anytime we see a remaster or a remake, I'll take a sip. And the crowd goes wild. Well, um, <laughs> we are expecting hundreds of thousands. I tell you what, I feel real bad for anybody having to co host with Jeff because Jeff barely gets applause. And yeah, then they're out there being like, "What do you think?" Everyone's like, "You're dealing with a stern German audience." <laughs> they are unimpressed. There wasn't a two. Yeah, there wasn't. They went right to three. It's funny. They should have just done Goat Simulator Five or whatever. Now we have some news on Persona Three Reload. Oh, oh, I think it's the protagonist they've been complaining about not adding DLC. Oh, yeah, there's not a female protagonist. Yeah. It's time to reveal a surprising boss fight coming to the oh, game. Oh, well, never A mind. new boss, boss fight. fight. This is... These are the, the barn burners that Jeff can lock down. <laughs> I was gonna say, this is... Now we're in the dregs. <laughs> a brand new boss fight. This is another hour and a half, Lawrence, so... Settle in. I mean, Germans are joyless, only the Prussians. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Cage, Man. whoa, jeez. Like a deep European humor. I know, that I don't get. Making jokes that go back 1,200 years. <laughs> I know. Brother, this is America. <laughs> Our country's barely 200 years old. And we don't even know the history of it. You know what I found out the other day? Oh, that was it? That's cool. All right. Okay. Never mind. I was, uh, never mind. I'll hold on. I'll wait. I'll wait. You going to pocket that one? I don't want to talk over Jeff. Another right new game here. announcement. World premiere. At Gamescom opening night live. All right. That sounds like a world premiere to me. What do you think? Is this worthy they, of the... They didn't do... They didn't say world premiere. But it's exclusive. This way. They did, but they didn't say world premiere. Hmm. They don't do that bumper anymore. Oh, Techland. And yeah, Dying Light? I, I, there's no way they're doing another Dying Light already. It's close. No. No way. No. It's like uh, Predator. It's all Predators. It's weird with all their tech gear, they can't hear a asthmatic monster in the, in the <laughs> branches up there. Fear? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Fear was a monolith. What are they up to? I haven't heard from monolith in a while. It's actually been a long time, yeah. Mm. Zombie? Predator? Creature? Evolved too. Is there corruption we have to shoot the ball? Because I bet there is. Boss and the ball pops out, and you gotta shoot the ball. You gotta shoot the ball of corruption and get rid of the black the black corruption. Maybe this is like maybe it's like a dying light expand not expansion. Every man has an or like a side game, like a multiplayer focused yeah, yeah. side game. If you yeah. push too much, you might dying light extraction shooter. I think dying light too was. Pretty fun. I enjoyed it, yeah. I had a good time with it. 
They actually gave me a scent kit that I might still have. Oh, okay. I meant to I meant to give it away. Uh, you've been bought, so you can't talk That's about it true. anymore. You are a shill. I did just say Dying Light 2 was good. You've been bought since they sent you that scent kit. The only way to prove your uh, your authenticity is to shit on everything. I, uh... The Beast. Why didn't they get Mr. Beast to promo this? Well, there's, there's a reason. Obvious. There's a reason they just, didn't. Just shit him How come shit they didn't get Dr. Email? Disrespect? Is that new? Is that a world premiere? It's a world premiere, right? I mean, they didn't say it, Did but I'll take the it? shot. I'll, look, I'll do it. But it didn't say world premiere. Well, I, I think... Next, marks the launch for the most wish-listed game right now on Steam, and also... Hmm. Is Last it Wukong? Checked, the biggest single player yep. game ever on Steam with over two. What is it about Wukong, man? I don't know. I was talking about that last night when I streamed it. It seems like a pretty, like, <coughs> normal Souls like. It is. And I was like, like, it's cool, but I guess it's because they, for, they, like, blacklisted feminism, so everybody loves it. <laughs> no women. Get out of our video games. It's fun, Lawrence. You'll enjoy it. I will enjoy it. Yeah, I'm you, looking forward to it. Cheers. It. Cheers. Return to Monkey. Mm. You know it's dangerous when they stop making your whole body shiver. <laughs> yeah. Whew. It's so weird because everyone hated Epic because of China, but now everyone loves Wukong because of China. I that's why I was like, are there a lot of Chinese players on Steam? There are not, right? No. Chi like So why is this all of a sudden the most popular video game in the world? China's PC gaming scene is actually has been fucked for years because their Ministry of Media or whatever was not very PC friendly. Yeah, that's right. Because it's an open platform. It was actually very hard. Well, it was. <laughs> that was kind of cool. No, the, this game is cool. I mean, like, I played three hours of it. It was really fun. Also, they have to manually approve games. Uh, or at least that's the way it used to be. And then there was, like, a year where they just didn't approve anything. So, like, China's always a really tough market to get into. Uh, a lot of players there, obviously. Yeah. This is. Uh, people were saying it's like God of War, but with uh, Chinese gods. And that is absolutely true. 100%. All right. I like God of War. Um, it's, I think, maybe a little harder than God of War when it comes to boss battles. But still fun. So. I like that. All right. Yeah, I think you'll enjoy it. It's just like, why this game? I, I don't know. know. I can't figure it out. I have no idea. Because right. people wanted it. People wanted it. Now they got it. You wish there was a parry function? Yeah, it's all dodge. Oh, really? Yeah, it's all dodge, which I'm actually super happy about. Was there not a timing element to the dodge where, like, if you dodge but, at the last minute, you get, like, a slowdown or something? You do, yeah. You get, oh, you get a little right. bit of a... Like, there's your parry. There's, there's a perfect dodge, yeah. Oh, I do want to play Thank Goodness You're Here. That's been on my list oh, for a while. I need to do that, too, actually. Yeah. I heard it's really funny, which generally is not very good for stream. Oh, the yeah. game is actually funny. Yeah. <laughs> but I do need to play that. It's also very rare. The games are rarely actually funny. That's right, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Everyone's saying uh, Dragon Ball was... is Chinese mythology? I didn't know that. Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah, no, G Goku is a monkey boy. He rides on a cloud, I he's got no, a power no clue. Because I never really got into Dragon Ball. So. I mean, by the time they get to Dragon Ball Z... Welcome back to <laughs> oh, it's Anime Jam! Night Live ...here in beautiful... Hi. By the time they get to Z, they basically rewrite the mythos, so it's not so much a Journey to the West thing, but yeah. Gotcha. Original Dragon Ball. There's no more. We joined recently kidnapped celebrity guest contender Jeff Keighley at the starting line. Wait, starting line? Is this his first voiceover role? I, that's not Jeff's voice. You don't think? I don't. It didn't sound like Jeff. It kind of didn't, but maybe that's because he's doing a studio voice. <laughs> But the GK machine is leading the way to the finish line, and the chat is blowing. Oh, chat! Is all this death traps unapproved? Look at those skellies! A giant horse trying to hoof me. And eloquent. Really doesn't sound like no, Jeff. No, it doesn't. Description of the game, not to mention a perfectly timed transition. Oh yeah. Anyways, the Roman Empire lasted about 500 years, and I said, you know what? I'm surprised. I didn't realize it lasted so long. I think America's got another 200 years in front of it. We got another 200 years before we, we go down. As an empire? Yeah. As an right. empire. Well, you know, uh, Rome is still there. It's well, not, but it's not the Roman Empire. Well, sure. The Roman Empire fell in like 476 or something. So, I don't know that... I don't know that I want to necessarily... 
live last in a world-dominating empire. Yeah. I would like to last uh, 1,000 years. I mean, again, Rome is still there, so it's still lasting. We are the... Gr it's a city, Lawrence. It's not a Roman Empire. Okay. All right? All right. Okay? And you know what America is? The best country in the world. Well, like you did say empire that time. That's weird. Wait, hold on. I didn't say American Empire, did I? No, you didn't, which is weird, considering you Should wanted... I call it the American Empire? I mean, you're making comparisons. I feel like that's what you're going for. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if, like, America could just chill the fuck out and be, like, one of the nations on the planet instead of the only no. one? No! Oh, We sorry. have to be the best. That's right. Welcome back to open we we were given God's greatest natural resource, an expendable labor force, <laughs> and we need to use that to protect the free world. <laughs> Actually, that, there's a lot of oil in America. We do have a lot of oil, it's true. Yeah, you're right. Not that we need that, because we're going to burn it off and then we'll be done. But Well, apparently we also accidentally have mounds of the rare, rare metals you need to make batteries and shit. Yeah, we do. We have a lot of lithium and stuff. <laughs> it wasn't ours, though. We took it, but... Ah, whatever. So what? Not like the people that were here were going to exploit those resources like we are. <laughs> They were just wasting them, paying homage to the Sky Guys, Goddess and shit. To o and L. I'm very excited to share this game. Somebody said you are not the best uh, in chat, and you're wrong. How dare you? Uh, you uh, where was Spider-Man 2 developed? <laughs> uh, America? <laughs> where was the MCU developed? America? Ding, ding. Where did we get Facebook from? America. That's right. <laughs> just stop using Instagram, you dirty commie. You can't, can you? <laughs> You're addicted <laughs> because America came up with addiction. <laughs> this is actually kind of a thing. Yeah. After the Civil War, it's the beginning of the opiate epidemic and lasting a while. Good for us. Good for us. We, we didn't we didn't come up with opioids. No way. Opioids have been existed for thousands of years. I mean, no. Well, no, I guess that was China, technically. Yeah. Damn, man. Absolutely. China's got some bangers now that I think about it. We didn't create. Yeah. Scoot said we created the opioid epidemic, which is the UK. We did manufacture the the, the epidemic, though. It was like American Pharma that was cramming people full of them. Co-op action hack and slash with a bit of roguelite town building. Co-op action hack and slash with a with a roguelite. I was like, done. I'm in. Deep, rich, customized online presence. <laughs> It, it's the click your like title in your back plate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can be a little squirrel in my hand. Okay. Uh, there, there's microtransactions where you can buy any title you want. It's like Fist of the People. I'm like, all right, great. Oh, great. Two dollars. That's not bad. It's a little bing. Guys, I'm joking around, by the way. I'm at America. I don't actually think we're the best country in the world. You've got a new player I'm icon. fucking around, Bruce. just so you know. I don't want anybody to be like, man, yeah, Bruce is so jingoistic. Our GDP says otherwise, Bruce. <laughs> That's because we work so hard. Yeah. Incredible Nobody else works so hard. <laughs> We're up here at 11.28 a.m. taking shots. <laughs> What's the rest of the world doing? Sleeping? <laughs> Fucking, they're, uh, they're all taking naps and shit. Well, we're very I'm busy making Mega Man offshoots with dudes with claw hands. <laughs> I don't think this was developed in America. Trailer. Thanks, guys. I am ready for American game devs to just completely fall off the map. They've been laying off too many people. They kind of have. Shitty business operations. No, thank you. People were saying that, like, the American video game industry is going to, like, fall off a cliff. And I don't think, I don't necessarily think it'll fall off a cliff. It's going to be, like, six years where nothing good comes out. I was going to say, triple A's will, will exist, but they're not going to, they're not going to be selling as nearly as many as they should. We got Concord, though. <laughs> Concord. <laughs> Wait, was Concord American made? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, Sony acquired the studio what before they nightmare. launched anything. I, right? Yeah. Yeah, Ugh, that's American studio. Geez, this... Concord. Huh? How about that? Black Ops 6, Bruce! America! That one's back. You saw that American flag dirt bike? Meow, meow. That'll be the top selling. No, I'll actually, no, I don't. Think about how many women you saw in that Black Ops trailer. Zero. <laughs> Gaming is back. We better get Wukong numbers on Black Ops 6. I think we've been trading sexualized women for super ripped men. So we get less sexualized women, but super, like, chauvinistic. <laughs> Awesome male dudes. Yeah, rad dudes. And I'm all right with that. I'm fine with that trade. I feel like it's kind of downstream MCU culture. Because the MCU was yeah, you're right. generally completely sexless. Yeah, which except for sucks. Black Widow. Except for Black Widow. Well, Black Widow, like, the camera sexualized her, but her character had no sex. Like, she yes, was actually yeah, pretty sterile. Yeah, you're right. The hottest shots you got in all of the MCU were of Captain America, like, flexing that helicopter. <laughs> yeah, back no, I know. Which is hot as fuck, but also not implicitly sexual. Well, even though the entire audience was just, like, still fucking hot. Though. Or ripping that log in half? Fuck Oh, me. my gosh, the best.
Now, so again, Jack dudes, but no sex. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. That's where America is. We got all this testosterone and steroids bundled up and nowhere for it to go. So Batman Forever is great because Batman has nipples, which means he's matronly, which means he can... <laughs> yeah, he can nurse. Does he... <laughs> Does he have nipples in Batman Forever? Yeah, but then he loses it in the the, the redesign where he gets all the chrome accents. First look. Oh right. But he he has to mother Robin. It's the overtones of the movie. A narrative adventure from the creative minds behind Life is Strange. Oh, oh yeah, how's Dustborn doing? Dustborn's out. Dustborn. Everybody? Is Dustborn out? Is that an American game? It's from Quantic Dream. I don't know if Dustborn is Quantic Dream. I thought it was. I could be wrong. I could no. be absolutely wrong, 100% about that. No, I really? thought that I thought that those two were related, but I could Dude, I hope so. There's a new Quantic Dream game out, and I'm not playing it right now? All these memories came flooding I mean, it's the one with, like, the... We, didn't we talk about it in uh, Inside Games? Yeah. It's the multicultural... Yeah. Uh, Divided mute, States of America. Mutant force, yeah, driving through Occupied America or whatever. Shit! Where's my fucking pick? The bark one's her favorite. If it's about garage bands, why is it vaporwave music? <laughs> it should be like garage punk, right? Oh, Dustborn is Norwegian. My bad. I don't know. I, yeah. yeah, but the Times Norway. Oh, published by Quantic. There it is. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't, I didn't know they were publishing. I didn't know that either. Is she wearing denim overalls? Hell yeah. Is she wearing corduroy pants? Hell yeah. And rage. That looks like raging to me. Uh oh, dude! When I rage, I end up bleeding. These ladies you do. Well, That's I guess true. These you ladies actually do. Yeah. Last week, my mom. I've never played her. Life is Strange, and by the way, I think that Life is Strange and Undertale are the same thing. <laughs> well, they probably appeal to the same cross section. Yeah. <laughs> Undertale's better. Is it? Yeah. It's tough to separate it from the weirdo fan base at this point, but yes, it is. Okay, Undertale's I mean, better. Life is Strange isn't bad. So should I play Undertale first before Life is Strange? I Yeah, I would say so. All right, understood. If you want to, like, prioritize your time based on gaming merit. Guys, I'm kidding around. I know they're different. <laughs> I'm joking. All right, now we got video games. Video games are back. Is this the other zombie game? Uh, yes. The other one? What other one? What are you talking Dead about? Dead Island? Oh, is this Dead Island Re Deluxe Remaster? Dead Island Rush Remaster? Remaster? Deader Islander. Oh, there's like six players, eight players? Yeah, Life is Strange is alright. Life is Strange is alright. There's definitely not a lot of games that like do teen melancholy. So should I play that? Yeah. Alright, that's what I wanted to hear. No more room in hell, two. Is that a, is that a world premiere? Didn't say it. Didn't say it. A game looks they would have said world premiere because they did for Borderlands. Eight player co-op of No More Room in Hell 2 from Torn Banner up in Canada where there are deadly consequences Canada. of not sticking close oh to Oh my team. gosh. Like, Get out of here. Those losers. All right. Our next game. Uh, it's been a long time coming for this next one. At the Game Awards in 2021. Silk song. Embark no, he already said. Yeah, he said Jeff already tweeted said no silk song. With players around the globe. A stunning future Earth. We're menacing arc machines. That making Bruce a little frustrated. I'm not frustrated at all. Literally not at all. Arc Raiders has evolved a lot since then. Oh, I thought it was Arc 2. So these, I think Arc Raiders, I want to say is made by the Battlefield devs, ex-Battlefield devs. So I'm looking forward to this. If this is what I think it is. I could be wrong though. go from here? I want Arc 2. Because it was the same with the, the finals. The finals was made by ex-Battlefield devs as well. You've told us and we're gonna get a lot of those, a lot of ex blank devs because they're laying everybody off. Well, that or they're leaving. I think these people left. Ooh. No. Hmm. Gamescom? Gamescom? Gamescom. Hello, Gamescom? Full click. Gamescom? Please wait. Okay, chat's still going. <laughs> Please wrap it up. Gamescom? Gamescom. Maybe we have to go to Twitch? Oh. Whoa, your tab just crashed. What is going on, Firefox? <laughs> well, we missed it. <laughs> Great. I can rewind it, but... Nah, whatever. Nah. <laughs> More like 70s theming. I'm like looking... Concord. It's interesting how they're just button up a lot of these trailers back to back now. Without any, any talking in between. It's because they know... 
None of this is like, it's kind of like, whatever. Yeah, there's there's no no need for a, a warm-up. It speaks for itself, clearly. <laughs> oh, Concord 2? We need Concord 2? Uh, just skipping right to 2. It's a roguelike oh. hack and slash action RPG. Infinity Nikki, this uh, game looked pretty cool. Co op PVE, PvP, PvE, PvE, PvE. You gotta partner with all the animals so you get cute new outfits. I'm looking forward to this. Dance! Oh, do you really? Uh, I hope so. Look at those stupid chickens. Where's the gameplay? Uh, I think you walk around a <coughs> farm. Okay. And you put on pretty dresses. Uh-oh. <laughs> you put on pretty dresses. You ride a catapult, I guess? Summon a magical train? Full of minions? Yeah. Man, I can't wait to put on my prettiest dress and play Infinity Nikki. Coziest open world game. That's the first time I've heard a game market itself as cozy. Cozy, yeah. Interesting. Oh, was a space marine? Yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Finally. Sexless hot dudes. <laughs> Just fucking jacked up. We have to assume that every suit in one of these games jerks them off. Because they don't have sex for years at a time. Well, they, they would... have to be jerking off. It's good for the prostate. It's good for the prostate, but <clears throat> it's not it would bleed them of their Righteous vigor. Well, that's why it only, it only happens once a month. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And once they have a refractory period of three days. Maybe it's constantly slow jerking you, so you're constantly in a state of. Oh, you like, always have a bone, uh, like a boner. Four well, days. Well, I'm telling. They're they're early scooting access? out. The, yeah, early they're access scooting window? out early access because yeah, yeah, yeah. it used to only be three. I mean, COD I think always did like a week for the campaign, but. But yeah, I'm I'm. Guys, watch out. They're going to make Early Access longer and longer and longer. Lawrence is absolutely right about this. And then, he, like, straight up, a couple of years from now, Early Access will be like a month. That's correct, yeah. And then it'll, it'll just be what it all is right now, which is that games are more expensive. Mm -hmm. And they go on sale after a while. That's, right. <laughs> That's exactly right. He's right. This That's is how they did it. That's what's going to happen. Is this a... We, this we a, complained about this. shooter? We complained about this with, Star, with Starfield, and everyone was like, no. Yeah. That's not true. It's gonna happen with every video game. Well, the and the truth is, and and if everyone could get here, then everything would be fine. People want to pay more than seventy dollars for a game. Oh, they do. They do, I've and they're saying, more than willing to do it. I've been saying GTA Six is pro I, like I'm gonna be so surprised if the game is only seventy dollars. I'm gonna I'm guessing it's eighty or it's seventy with a thirty dollar GTA Online DLC charge or some shit. Like it's gonna be crazy. Yeah, it's You're it's interesting because a lot of money for that. With five, their their like marketing plan was pretty brilliant, which is I mean Rockstar Games always like massively over deliver, so you can't not buy their game. It's just kind of assumed, which they know. Yeah, the thing is, most of their money is not going to come. It's like it's almost like selling a printer. You know, what is this guy's face? <laughs> it looks like it kind of looks like me, but like <laughs> if I'm 70, but I have a lot of surgery. Right, That's what right, I'm right. Yeah, it looks like you with plastic surgery. That, that Tom Cruise face. <laughs> Man. Anyway, yeah, no, GTA can earn more money. Next up. Back then, they couldn't charge more than 60 for it. Now they can. Now they absolutely can, yeah. 100%. And then keep re releasing it for the next 15 years. Early access date. Check this out. Not world premiere. Is it, they didn't say world my premiere. Son, Early access. I'll take a second. Are you that. clear of mind <laughs> and stout of heart? I am. Are you ready to sacrifice? Sacrifice everything to become the savior. The save born. Will. Dude, born. they use Starborn and fucking Starfield. Of course they did. Obviously, Lawrence. When they said that, it was Dragonborn I, and Starborn. That's fucking Bethesda. You know what they're doing. Emil. Mastermind. Bethesda, it worked before Softworks. <laughs> Might as well be on the front of their building. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm real tired of Souls likes. Real tired of them. No, no one else is though. I know it's true. Oh, it's a Diablo. Oh, it's a Diablo. -ish. Okay, all right. 
ironically, those are kind of Soulsborne-y, but whatever. Yeah, they kind of are. You're right. Look at that big old bone man. Are you ready to fulfill? Oh, is this Poe? Destiny. Oh, it is. Gonna vaginal split in half. Blah. It's got a clit and everything, man. <laughs> I mean, they, the imagery's right there. Two? Yeah. It's been, they've been like I know, talking I, about it for what, like three years around. now? I'm totally joking. <gasps> oh my gosh. We got a date, folks. Well, that looks absolutely great. Can't wait for that one. I love and when, I love when uh, the hosts say well. Well. Or so. So. How about that? <laughs> <I know>. Huh? <laughs> it's really hard to just start talking out of nowhere. It is. It really is. Because like the trailer is like this epic action whatever. And you're like, well. <laughs> and if you're into indie games, who isn't? You can watch the best in these of games. Looks pretty epic, right? Awesome. And how about that announcement? Tomorrow that was actually something from a press conference that we were watching years ago. That came after a trailer. Somebody said, looks pretty epic, right? And how about that announcement? And everyone was like, is it the most generic? <laughs> how about those video games, huh? <laughs> they didn't say video games even. Oh. How about that announcement? And most elaborate stage at Gamecom, Gamescom, featuring not only opening night live, okay. but additional live Oh, shows we're moving away from gaming, I think. Gaming events. Movies? Competition. Television? You can watch TV, 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 TV. <laughs> Lawrence, did you hear? Next, Call of Duty. I want you to gameplay take a drink for this. This is very important. All right. I'll take a drink Open with you. The Acolyte was canceled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Only one season, Bruce. Did you finish it? I didn't. I ah. keep, every night, I keep trying to talk Steph into it, and she just gives me the most contemptuous look. Definitely loves Star Wars, though. How does she not want to watch that? I don't get it. I think I think the love's been driven out of her. <laughs> That's bad. That's it's, real bad. For Steph. Yeah, dude. It's there's Stephanie a whole... loves Star like There are not many people I know that love Star Wars as much as I do. Stephanie's one of them. She has tattoos. Yeah, no, she's a lifer. Yeah. Well, she was. Oh, no, it's bad. it's. I mean, she worked on it, which is like the kiss of death if you actually like something. It's true. Yeah. Those menus are identical to Dragon Age. And then... Anyway, sorry. Oh, Wait, there was dude. a vitiligo slider. <laughs> yeah. A slider, Bruce. Not, I want more vitiligo. Not just on or off. You could decide your level of vitiligo. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Scorched by the unforgiving. I'm really looking forward to this, even though I know what it is. Wait, do people in Dune Universe have vitiligo? Is that a thing? Every, yeah, they're humans. The Bene Gesser, are they? Welcome yeah. I mean, aren't they humans in Dune? I thought it was just humans in like, you know, thousands of years in the future. Yeah, I guess so. Meet hundreds of other I thought for sure they were humans. Am I wrong? Online world. Befriend. Is this like a, is this a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away? I thought it was- Cheers. I don't know, I guess I thought it was just like a whole other thing. A spit dart rifle and a still suit. The revolved humans? Oh, okay. Taking down terrorist uh. Working with others will always Let's keep on. Look at all that gear you can put on. You can ride your do motorcycle. Oh, can you drive an ornithopter? Yes, obviously. Can I drink the the worm juice and trip like trip my balls off? <laughs> Can you put my hand in the box? That's pain. They have a pain box, uh, or rather, I saw a clip on Reddit of some dude the, in a I tribal saw the same village. Clip, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure that's what it came from. Obviously, you know, Dune is not completely original works. Frank Herbert is a genius. Everything he did is totally normal and not problematic at all. <laughs> Actually, wait. I think it was his kid that wrote the weird stuff. Oh, was it? Yeah. Nothing of value. Bruce, are you a fan of Duncan Idaho? Mine. Yeah. yeah. What? what? Don't do you, worry. Why? He's coming back. He's coming back. Oh, who's Duncan Idaho? It was uh, it was Aquaman. The name of Aquaman is Duncan Idaho. Yeah. The fuck? Do you don't remember that in the movie? His name is Duncan Idaho. Yes. Yeah. In, wow, okay. In the DC comics, his name is Duncan Idaho. No, no, in Dune. With the blueprint system. Oh, in Dune. Oh. Aquaman. What? I'm blinking on his name. Are you uh, Jason Momoa? Fast X. Yeah, Jason Momoa. Fast X. I like these brought up Fast X. It's his banner role. <laughs> Baywatch Hawaii. What about Aquaman? Well, that was the first one I said. Come on. <laughs> Fucking Aquaman. Oh, you can moduli, modulate out your ornithopter. Very cool. That looks cool. Bring back FMV though, cowards. They won't. They won't do it. No, they won't because it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it does kind of. Into key events happening across yeah, Drogo is actually maybe his banner role. But. Boring. Discover landmarks, wreck huh. ships. Well, I mean, I guess out of every property, Dune is pretty well suited to being a survival game. Eh. 
Well, he said this game is fun. They've never played it. Good. But they said this game is fun. I mean, it might. They might. They might have played it. Uncover no, valuable. They haven't played. You don't think so? And search for secrets amongst the ship. The only thing that would make this game fun is FMV. I was gonna say the only game. The only thing that would make this game fun is spice. Civilization triumph. You not? Isn't that what it's all about? Yeah, it's always about spice. Obviously, it needs to come with a little vial of uh, psychedelics that you can take while you're playing the game. Bankers, oh, that's so cool. Smugglers, house envoys, and of course, other players. Did you watch the William Hurt Dune miniseries, Bruce? Here, you will pledge allegiance to one of the oh. great. Oh, <laughs> not at all. Dune's back. I really didn't think Dune would become like a. But remember, a movies. world science fiction brand. In the movies, the, abs the movies are fantastic. Yeah, so. they really are. Spice. I really hope after this, Denis just goes back to like doing weird art projects. He probably will after Dune Three or whatever, Dune Messiah or whatever. Yeah, I just once once a director gets pegged as like as like having the Midas touch. J.J. Abrams kind of fell into this. So did uh, uh, Australian man, no New Zealand man, Lord of the Rings man. Oh, Peter Jackson. Frightener. Yeah, Peter Jackson. I'm I'm bad with names today. Yeah, they they get like saddled with these increasingly impossible to salvage projects until it until it blows up their career. It's true, and they yeah, just right. stop directing for a while. Yeah, you're right. Because what else do you do? So um, yeah, Uva Ball, that's who I was thinking. Of. So yeah, I'm hoping. I don't think Abrams is a boring director. I just think he's a he's a blockbuster director. Well, but no, but Lawrence is right though. They, they're like Lucasfilm was hiring him to save Star Wars. They were like. You're gonna save Star Wars for Rise of Skywalker, and he was like, "What the fuck do I do?" <laughs> well, they hired him to kickstart it, which I thought he did a pretty good he, job. He did a good job, yeah, yeah, I would agree. And then you know, Ryan Johnson did his thing, um, <laughs> and then yeah, they hired him to try to make an well, entire trilogy in one movie. Have a June game without the sandworms, and the sandworm summoning begins when June Awakening drops on PC. Oh, early. Well, I thought she was saying June like the month. No, no. Dune. Dune. But she's saying Dune, but with June. a German accent. Right. Or a maybe maybe a uh, Scandinavian accent. Right. My bad. She's saying June. June. I was like, what is... Is it, a, is it Worm Month in, in Germany? No, what, <laughs> what are we doing? She's saying Dune. Hey, is this Little Nightmares 3? This was supposed to get shown. Nothing lasts forever. Awesome. I love these games. I've never played Little Nightmares. They're pretty, they're really straightforward. Just pretty, pretty, you know, digestible platformers. She's Belgian, someone said. Okay, ah. Belgian. Ooh, there you go. Again, uh, Europe is all the same thing to me, so it doesn't matter what country they're from, they're European. Yeah. If they're from uh, India, European. That's right. If they're from... Well, that's Asia. But... Iran, European. <laughs> if they're from... Uh, Russia? Egypt? European. Okay. How about Japan? Europe? Uh, Europe, absolutely, mm, yeah. Okay, it's over there. <laughs> over there. It's either over there or down there. I'm joking, everybody. <laughs> I'm kidding around. <laughs> These are jokes. You rop. Oh, okay. It looks exactly like Little Nightmares, but it's re-animal. <laughs> Great. There was no world premiere, was there? New IP, though. We only got the world premiere header... He doesn't do it much, I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, from Borderlands, so. He's actively distancing himself from world premieres because he's not getting them anymore. Like true. Also, uh, she is the co-host. She's been, like, co-hosting... Yeah. A, she's a number of things. ...robot on our website, RPG Gamescom Epics. Prove your nerd know-how, solve tricky puzzles, win prizes, gather trade. Are you going to go there? Gamescom.epics? My phone is all the way across the room. I can't scan the QR code. <laughs> Where is code. your phone, actually? That's on the charging dock over there, oh. behind, behind the packing tape. There it is. Next to the DVD of Karate Rock. <laughs> it's a double DVD. What's the other one? Lady Battle Cop is the other movie on there. Depending on how drunk I get, I might watch that after this. <laughs> August 28th. And we also have some news about when the game will be coming to Xbox. <gasps> oh my gosh, to Xbox. Uh, are we talking about Blackbeth? <gasps> Blackbeth Wukong was delayed. Oh no. Oh, it's Zenless. No, it's Zenless. Or is Genshin? Bruh. Poor Xbox. I know, right? Bruh. All they tried to do was sell a cheap console with a lot of games on it. I'll be honest with and you. And everyone hates them for it. We shouldn't say poor Xbox because they just bought Activision for $70 billion. Poor but. Broke X, but because Black Myth Wukong was delayed on Xbox, so even people that want to play yeah. Black Myth can't on Xbox. I don't think. Do you think Xbox is going to make another console? 
Or are they moving fully into like streaming and? I don't think so. I actually don't. I think the all the series, business indicators say they shouldn't, right? Like I, Sega. If anything, they're gonna make like a little Raspberry Pi thing. That's oh like yeah, a, like a Fire Stick. But I don't think they're gonna make a full console. I think I think PlayStation has won that. Yeah, but the like I really do hope people kind of like you were mentioning with the so and so is playing this game and they're not. I really hope people start developing a healthy distrust of of the ecosystem. Oh my gosh! Because Sony is going to they absolutely should. Yeah, that's that's the only that's Sony's only moneymaker now. They don't have any games coming out for the next couple of years, so it's tough. I mean, Concord for, forgot about Concord. How could you forget about Concord? Whoops! They're, they're gonna make a movie and comic book uh, and a television series. Dawn of a new IP, everybody! I can't wait to see Trash Can. Uh, you guys remember Trash Can from Concord? I like Trash Can. Trash Can and Ugly Lady. <laughs> There <laughs> There's go. a lot of those. Yeah, dumpster woman. Xbox later this year, as we saw. All right. Oh, now Jeff is back. He said that under his breath, like he was ashamed to say the word Xbox. <laughs> Xbox. <laughs> Wait, why are we taking a shot? Uh, for what's it? What it is? Reanimal. What, why are we? What's that? New I New World Premiere. That's not a games as a service. All right. Well, I'm doing it. I'll do it too. It's fine. Capcom. Real Sun. Yay! Monster Hunter Wilds. I am looking forward to this now. I wasn't when it first re was revealed, and now the more that I've watched, the more I'm like, this is cool. Three animal. Hi, えー、モンスターハンターワイルズの最新の映像を持ってきました。え、まずは、え、ね、ゴー。ワッサンバディ。ウィロスサンバディ。ウィロスサンバディ。ウィロスサンバディ。ウィロスサンバディ。ウィロ
Capcom is the only developer doing hardcore food pornography. <laughs> but I don't understand. Why is it just them? Is that Tomb Raider? Tomb Raider. Oh, that's right. They're doing a, a re, re, re. Ah, oh, fuck off. Shredder. Shit. Never mind. She went through a portal into Naraka Blade Point. So you can be Tomb Raider in Naraka Blade Point. Whoa. Oh, I thought that was her. Hey, everybody. New NVIDIA drivers available. Everything <laughs> World premiere. <laughs> New game ready driver. driver. Okay, you can go in. Oh, there we go. <laughs> she got some. She had some honkers in some of those. I think I saw some skin dentation too. Whoa. Oh my. That was a little pun for you. A little pun for the audience. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I heard skin dentation. Yes, I. Heard. Well, no, that not that one. Oh no. Oh. That's okay though. She's more covered up than she used to be. This is bullshit. She has proper support now. Fuck. Remember when her saggers were just like out and she was like bent over and swinging back and forth? Are we talking about Lara Croft? No, we're talking about my Sheer and I. I mean, I don't, I don't know who that is. There she is. Whoa, my goodness gracious! Oh, I thought that was her in the in the leather. Never mind. I, think it was I, just a I shouldn't outfit. even be watching this right now. I feel like I'm. Don't you dare close am your I eyes. I'm cheating first. on my wife. See, I like this is. Fighting games used to be good, and Jeez. now they're good again. See, there's Terry. Someone, where's my dad? He should be covering my eyes. Terry's back. This game was fun. Dude, this game... I have played a lot of this game, and I've really enjoyed myself. I... I am so over, like, hero shooters, but this one still had some juice, and I had some fun with it. And I, whenever I hear Lawrence be like, Fuck, I'm getting killed over and over, and I was like, damn it, I want to help Lawrence so bad, because I know exactly how you feel. Yeah, it's it's more just like the... It's it's desperately seeking the ways of the game's communicating to you what you need to know. <laughs> well, but it's sometimes not easy, be though, tough. because, like, yeah. if you're just getting picked on, sometimes you just get, you know, worked. In games with stun mechanics, man, that... Oh, yeah. That's the thing that, that honestly made me swear off League and never, ever want to play it again. Yeah. Yep. There's people that could just stun lock you. And, like... I'm sure that I'm sure that feels great. That must feel so sick. On the, on the other side the one, of it, yeah, yeah right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good for you, but nah. Yeah, no, it's not easy. It's not easy. That's why I play with people like X-Ray, who are like fucking yeah. professionals and can like communicate to you what's going on and break things down. Okay, yeah. Next, we have something exciting for fans of Monument Valley, the beautiful twisted oh. puzzle game that we all played about a decade ago. Yeah, that came out one million years ago. Well, tonight, I forgive you for banning me if you forgive me for calling you fools. Three. It was a Gandalf reference, you fools. I mean, that seems that seems okay, right? No, he's explaining, Bruce. He's explaining it. Yeah, I just put him in timeout. Uh, I just put him in timeout. I didn't actually ban him. Cheeky little timeout. Okay. I just gave him a little timeout. Sorry, Chris. Come back and instead. Be nice. I mean, yeah, I, uh, I, I think referencing Lord of the Rings is nice. That's just me. Yeah, but that's bullshit. That's, that's, <laughs> there's no way he was referencing fucking Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I could see, I could see. I'm permissive though. I'm a permissive guy. That's really nice of you, Lawrence. Well, I don't think I have to deal with, with you don't. a fraction yeah, of the you bullshit don't. you do. So you I have the privilege of having a higher endurance. I can't tell you how many people thought I was streaming Black Myth last night sponsored. Everyone oh. came in and was like, is this sponsored? Is this sponsored? I was like, just because it was... Just because I played the game and enjoyed it. That doesn't make... I know. I know it doesn't make any sense. I know. Oh. Huh. There's, there's a whole weird shit. Oh, that's kind of cool. Is that a three? It is Oh, a three. no. It's just coming to... Wait. Was there a two? Netflix game? That was three. Okay, yeah. There you go. Okay, yeah. So, Monument Valley, Monument Valley 2, and that was three. And... But Monument Valley 3 drops exclusively so on Netflix. This 2 is coming out in October <laughs> and 3 is coming out on Netflix games? Yes. First that's released correct. in 1991. Wait, that doesn't feel good. Wait, what do you mean, why? Because that just means they probably just shaved off part of 2 and <laughs> called it 3. <laughs> so that Netflix could get an exclusive new game. Is that the... I think that might be the first time that like a 2... Well, excluding time. EDF 6, which the somehow put EDF 7 inside the game. <laughs> but that's got to be the first time that like... Two, a two and a three come out within like a month of each other. Well, I mean, like, they probably were already working on it and then eventually just put it on Netflix. Two has been out for a while, right? Oh, didn't it? I thought it said like October 24. Thank you, but I mean, like two has been out for a while, right? I don't know. Oh, okay. Right. Maybe it has. Maybe oh, two came out a long time ago. My bad. So I assume they just, you know, put one and two on Netflix and then they'll release three. My bad, my bad, my bad. I was misinformed. Talking about 
Civilization. Two was already a game. Seven. Right. Seven. Civilization. Hey. Seven. I love when they get a sleep deprived, overly crunched game dev out there to hype the crowd. <laughs> The Bags under his eyes. I've been staring at hexagons for years. Yeah, this guy's been working real hard at Fraxis. Really hard. That was a world premiere, though, right? At what? Monument Valley 3? 3! I didn't say world premiere. But I mean, if you want to do a shot, I'll do it. But they didn't say world premiere. I'll do it, though, if you want. I'm down. You know I am. I'm game. You got me thinking. Let me take one long drag of beer, and then I'll decide. Our new in-game narrator. Oh. On behalf of the team uh, Joaquin Phoenix. So hard on this game. Uh, fuck, so what's his name? Not Jay Moore. Give the world Jay Moore. The other aggravating Jay Moore. Community Sears guy. Sears what's his name? Oh, Joe, Joe McHale. McHale. <laughs> Please. I got there. Enjoy. It's Joe McHale. There's no way Joel McHale is the narrator for Civilization 7. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Civilization. I'm Joel McHale. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, let's put the entire history of the world. Into a game. What? I can barely hear what. Wait, what now? Hello? It's because it's echoing from the past. Is Sid Meier dead? No. I think, that, I think that was supposed to be Sid Meier talking. Yeah, I think it was like an interview. Oh, Morgan Freeman. That'd be cool. They got Leonard Nimoy, right? Joe One Pesci. Chris Pratt. Oh, it should be Chris Pratt. Uh, it, it should be, be Chris, Chris Pratt, Pratt playing Mario. Who's the. Richard Attenborough? I don't know if Richard oh, yeah, is his yeah, yeah, first yeah. name, but he should do it. I think he's dead, but yeah. Well, like, AI him up. What's the problem? <laughs> Easy. Just throw all that Just shit send the AI to his grinder. family or whatever. <laughs> we talked with his family. They said they were cool with the money, so it was fine. Patrick Warburton. <laughs> I want Patrick Warburton to voice all the world leaders. <laughs> I want Patrick Warburton as Gandhi to send a nuclear missile to me. Murder. <laughs> All right, I decided. You decided. All right, we're shot. gonna bust out the good stuff. We're doing though, the peach. That's peach not the good stuff. Blossom. That's the opposite of the good stuff. It's no, I, peach I, vodka. I cast dispersions on this vodka, and Stephanie stepped in the room to tell me, "No, it's the good. St it's good." <laughs> stepped in the room. Yeah, but also it. Uh, oh, it's David Attenborough. Yeah, there we go. Uh, but also, it's been on the shelf for like six years. So that's expired. That means it's matured. You know that vodka, or I'm sorry, alcohol in general, actually expires and gets worse. Like, it doesn't expire in the sense that it'll poison you, mm. but it, it definitely gets worse. Well, the alcohol sublimates out, the angels share, so it it actually lowers in uh, alcoholic content as time goes on, unless right. it's in, like, a hyper seal container. Since we first reached for the star. <gasps> Is it Vehicles! Todd? Time for Todd. Yeah, Is that's Starfield? That's the rumor, right? No, no, that's not a rumor. That's absolutely Cheers. true. Confirmed. You saw it! There was a suspension. There's definitely going to be vehicles. Cheers. What else is out there? And more. Importantly. <clears throat> Your little robot pal can ride with you. Thank you. Drive on. Oh my gosh, Bethesda did it! They made a vehicle! <sighs> Todd Howard is a genius. It's got jets. They've never made a vehicle before, guys. Remember in Mass Effect 1 when you could land and drive around in a vehicle? They've never made a... No video game has ever made a vehicle before. Okay? Is this no going to be part vehicle. of... Shattered space? No, yeah, I think is this is a free update. Or, this better be a free update. It's gonna be like fifteen bucks in the creation. Don't store. you say that? Don't you say that, Lauren? Don't be, don't make me mad right now. It's gonna have like a no, five minute free. quest. This is free, dog. This is free. No way they're gonna make you pay for this shit. Velocity at no way they're gonna make you. No way. Oh, are they doing an ET thing? Come on. Base car is free. The sh yeah. Available tonight? Shadow drop. That's a shot. That is a shadow drop. You're right. Now we can drive around on empty planets. Fuck, I gotta download Starfield. Well, I actually have already I already have it downloaded. That's pretty that's pretty quick. That's pretty quick for Bethesda. That, well they said it was September, so they got it. <laughs> September thirtieth. Two bits of Starfield news for you and a confirmation of the expansion shattered space. I'm actually really looking forward to thirtieth. Now driving that car around and having it glitch out and freeze the game. You can drive to cave. You can drive to encampment. What about outpost? You can drive to outpost. <laughs> and then you can drive until it says you can't drive this way anymore. <laughs> On a big open planet. How does Bethesda do it? All right. To a shadow drop. Free that's, car. That's exciting. I'm going to play that tonight, actually. That's exciting. Well, no, that's exciting. No, it's not exciting, but I'm excited. Hmm. Good job, Todd. 
Ugh. Oh, the Black Panther game. This is the thing, right? Uh, this is Idos Montreal making this? Really? I think, right? Never mind. Never mind. This is Marvel Rivals. What is this? Uh, you might be right, actually. No. I won't. No. I really honestly don't know how they made a game that's so close to Overwatch. It is exactly Overwatch. I mean, like, almost exactly the same. Yeah, but it, like, it's, it's worse. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's way worse, right, technically all speaking. All right, all right. The net code is not good. The, like, the way that hits are communicated to you as a player is not good. I wouldn't disagree with the Lawrence The speed here. differential of all the of all the characters is not good. I don't disagree. I don't disagree with Lawrence. I don't- I do not disagree. I can do this all day. Uh... Also, Black Panther sucks in that game. He's like a terrible character. <gasps> Hydra! Oh wow, December 6th. That's quite a ways away. Look at all those... Cartoons. I'm sure everyone who played the beta wanted to know Marvel Rivals will launch on December 6, 2020. So that's the thing. I'm so burned out on hero games. Gamescom always Hero shooters. The environment and the event well, maybe that's just you. 100% renewable energy. I, just climate me. <laughs> I don't know, man. To reduce CO2 but that's the thing. Like five years ago, everyone decided to make a game, and then in a vacuum, they were like, hero, hero, hero shooter. Yeah. Everybody loves those. Avoiding single use material. And yes, fans are planting more and more trees in the Gamescom forest. The forest has been growing oh, since 2020. There's a Gamescom forest? Your engagement. And all of you can still help, of course. You can plant your tree in the Gamescom forest. So wait, I can use my With phone that, and burn battery and carbon to plant a digital tree? Well, I would assume the burning carbon won't be as much as the... Fake tree that I plant? Oxygen. Fake tree? I think it... I mean, is it a... Do you plant real no, trees? it's gotta be real trees. There's no way. Do that a little early. Now that Mr. Beast is canceled, who's gonna plant trees for the world? Oh, here we go. Maybe it is real trees. And hello, Gamescom. Totally Thank real you trees. For having me again. Well, it is our absolute pleasure, Lisa. And uh, in case some people here comes don't the know social progressiveness thing. I love these segments because you know when we're all in a you know climate warming hellscape ten years from now, this will seem adorably quaint. Oh, the oh, they tried. Aww. Yeah, they tried. They gave it a shot. And a monument to With digital entertainment, which basically spews carbon into the world. They had a little segment about planting trees. That's I mean, nice. It's kind of like what we're doing. Oh, no, absolutely. I have two PCs over there that are just burning just and absolutely heating up the world. Yeah, right I think now. I see exhaust fumes coming out of both of those things. <laughs> that might, might explain the headache I got yes, coming on. <laughs> no, believe me, I've... Like for all, this is maybe not the right thing to bring up right now. Why not? But we're talking about trees, whatever. Like everyone liked to villainize AI and, and NFTs and shit for needlessly burning carbon, but like, what's a video game, man? You're you're using a digital rock to spew carbon to to generate pictures and sound for you so that you get to like pretend like you're in a different space with more more power and money than you have in real life. That's true. That's how everybody interacts with NFTs. That's true. It's stupid as fuck, but so are video games. So I don't know. Anyone Damn, Lawrence is like uh, woke squared. Yeah, I'm too. I'm so woke that wokeism is not woke enough for me. You, you're like more woke than woke. I've I've woked myself into <laughs> inactivity. Right, I'm in my like retirement in a cave phase, and then a helicopter's got to land outside. And commander's got to come out and be like, "We need you one more time." Some eye patch guy shows up and be like, "Lawrence," in a, a big jacket. <laughs> You know he wore that jacket because they didn't get the right-fitting suit in Rambo? Or, sorry, First Blood? Really? I didn't yeah. know that. Colonel Troutman. They oh. couldn't get a, like, a properly fitting military suit for him, so they had him wear this giant jacket. I didn't know that. That's really interesting. Yeah, the things you learn uh, listening to the... That established tropes for years to come. Yeah, yeah it did, really did. It's in Metal Gear and everything. We are to receive this award. Uh, you know, Tencent Games. Uh, uh, yes, thing. Sly Stallone has a lot to say on the commentary track of First Blood. Oh, I gotta watch that. Actually, it's actually really good. It's really, really good. Wait, they gave the award to Tencent? <laughs> Wait, no, they didn't. No, I don't know. They, I just... they didn't really give the award to Tencent. Please tell me they did not. 
our studios, all of our partners, but most of all, all they did. Just, just do me a favor and look up a little chart of which country is producing the most carbon right no. now. No, just for fun. Why not? <laughs> this guy is laughing internally so hard. Ten cents and Brent Urban. What? The human rights award goes to <laughs> Tencent. That is not China. Award. Everyone here and at home can vote for their favorite games. Yay! <laughs> this year's Gamescom award. Your voice and counts. Come now to help decide the winners. Oh, I just want to plant some trees. <laughs> until Thursday, August he got that email and replied back. Are you sure? I mean, for years we've seen human interest packages from fucking Facebook talking about diversity and shit. This is the company that let like real estate agents racially discriminate. Cambridge Analytica. And yeah. All that yeah. Deadpool director. Oh no, hold on. Deadpool. Death and robots and the co-founder of Blur Studio, Tim Miller. Oh, I thought it was Sean, Sean Lee, but never mind. Never mind. It's, it's Tim, Tim Miller. Miller. Uh, the free speech Ladies award goes to Tencent. <laughs> Blur Studio has been making cinematics for over 30 years now. That means classics like Quake, Star Wars, Warhammer. I mean, Blur, Call yes. Duty, Blur has absolutely made amazing trailers for I years. And we do I don't know how they've stayed in business. Like, not, not in a bad way, but like, video games. once you achieve a certain rate in production value, like, everyone tries to undercut you. So I'm really shocked that they've been able to maintain their level of prestige. And and every time they've just always been good. I mean, like, they've been good for years. We see hundreds and hundreds of comments from the fans. Like, why don't we see a movie like this? Or why can't we have a series like this? And we could not. There's a reason. Before. We only made two minutes Why of footage. We're so yeah. So excited to share this series with you. 15 series. original episodes created in League of Legends universe with Amazon oh. Studios and the publishers and developers of some of the world's greatest games. I'm talking new titles, existing games, indies. It's got to be in a, in a brand, so though, right? We've been working on yeah. this show for three years. Okay. Um, I get a little upset. <laughs> choked oh, up. Sorry. He's crying. I cry a lot. All right. Okay, good for him. Hey, that's all right. You're allowed to cry. A rare moment of human authenticity. You're allowed to cry in the in a Jeff production. Yeah. Center yourself. Didn't he work on Alita? Alita Battle Angel sucks, three three by the way. He didn't like it? Emotional because I liked it all right. Oh, it was terrible. Uh, yeah, it was a good popcorn movie. Time. So it was. It you was didn't a like good all the, the battle battle inline skate scenes? That was pretty cool. I fucking hated that stupid shit. Mm. Oh, he's still crying. You remember that that Black Mirror episode with a dude with a like shard of glass at his neck when everybody was in like the bike factory? It is That's a weird description. I've actually never seen that oh, okay. episode. It's about it's about commodifying like auth human authenticity. That's exactly what's happening right now. Well, but I mean, like, I don't know that they knew he was gonna cry, did they? Oh, Age of Myth. That's a neat idea. That, that's like the only next thing. Oh, here we go. <laughs> that's the only next thing you can do, right? Once you throw a lot of money at Halo and it doesn't work. You're like, uh, well, I guess what if we threw a mil... It's like Pixels the movie. <laughs> Remember Pixels? I do. I never saw it, but yes. Wow. What if video games were real? Man, that's a lot of money. What if video games were real? Could you imagine being the the producer of that Legend. shit? How many how many companies you have to go to and like negotiate shit individually? Yeah, it's a nightmare. Huh. Except for Concord. Yeah, no, Concord was. They're willing to give they their won. IP to anybody. You got it at any point in time. Man. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, that's actually not bad because that means they'll like, let's say you're a, a fan of any particular brand and then you watch it because you want to see the episode about your thing, but then you're like, well, that was cool. And then you roll into the Concord episode and you're like, wow, Concord. Oh my gosh. I'm going to go play that video game. I've been so enchanted by the universe and its characters. I have to explore more. I love trash cans so much <laughs> that I want to go play Concord. Trash cans, my favorite. <laughs> For me, it's trash can. <laughs> Man. Together, we can give our people. Jeez. That's the sort of thing where, like, if you told that to me in the 90s, I'd be like, no way. No way. It's true because, like, back then, video games were only for a very, very small subset of the population. And now everybody plays video games. 
But even the idea of multiple brands and, and companies like collaborating, or at least being willing to be adjacent to other things. Oh yeah, Delta Force. This looks pretty slick. Have you not played this yet? Not yet. No. I should give you an alpha code because it's really fun. Please it's Battlefield. Me. Oh, I love Battlefield. Yeah, it's Battlefield. I like Battlefield. Oh. So there's uh, Battlefield like Rush mode, and there's also the uh, uh, Tarkov mode. Tarkov mode is whatever, but like, honestly, this is like, it's well made. Man. And it's, this is, I believe, Ooh. Chinese. So yeah. watch, watch out now. <clears throat> well, that means that they can approach the topic from a, a neutral third party <laughs> perspective. <laughs> neutral third party? Yeah. China? Yeah. Okay, if right. it were American made, I mean, we got, we got meat, we got, uh, we got meat in the game. I mean, I didn't say that we were, uh, neutral, but. But we. Is this in, like, Pajanistan? Or is it actually. Afghanistan or Iraq or something. I don't actually know if this is what like where this is or it's like expats or you know like Battlefield oh, 2042. Oh yeah, gosh. Whoa. Havoc has an obelisk. The, but is built on the Nurj Belifa. United. No, this is not better than Battlefield, but it is Battlefield. Like they made Battlefield. Yeah, it's an free, alpha, but free to play. So. To find the spark of peace. We see China only cares about peace. Yeah, hey, you're right. Yes, like they only care about peace and also uh, taking over the world's uh, commercialism. Sure. Oh, it's a bit, it's actually kind of rare for China to make a first person shooter. Okay. Or a Chinese dev, I should say. We are announcing Talk about it like it's all it's just popping out of the country. October in advance of its early access release. I guess, uh, what is it, Crossfire? All right, let's head oh, wait, no, I think that's South Korean. For a new look at Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. Hey. With its authentic Henry's back. Of 15th century Bohemia as an action role playing game. I have concluded. I played the uh, first three hours of Kingdom Come Deliverance. And if anyone. That's about what I played. Yeah. And it was like. With headstrong boy, oh boy. Yep. This was a slow one. <laughs> it's a slow burn. It's a slow one. It's a 100 hour RPG epic. Which is cool. You gotta buy in. Which is cool. We need more people. The best thing would be to recruit. 15th century Bohemia. Well, if they're not already swinging on the gallows somewhere. Will you help us, Henry? Yes. I will. We need you, Henry. We need your power. So, uh, I don't mind spoilers. Because it's been like five years. That's right. Eight years. What happened in Kingdom Come Deliverance 1? He became the chosen one. I guess so, yeah. Yeah. He murdered a hundred dudes and then became king of... Of course. Obviously. Prussia? <laughs> Probably didn't exist at that point. Prussia? <laughs> Question mark? Cool. I will play this. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, Bethesda's not going to do it. Somebody's got to. That's because Bethesda makes <laughs> video games that are like, unfortunately, more approachable than this game. Yeah, that's true. This game is not approachable yeah, unless they made it easier. That game coming this became week. the Kingdom Born. Now, last month, the you are the Castle Born. <laughs> from Poyoverse, and now we've got the debut. Poyoverse is back. A new area of New Eridu. Check it out. A new area for New Eridu. Is this for Zenless? No. Uh, Eridu is. I don't know what Eridu is. I played this game like. A day ago. I think it is Zenless. There's guns, yeah. I knew ba doo 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 I mean, Zenless is kind of sick. Yeah, Zenless is awesome. <clears throat> Zenless is like one of those games I played on stream and I was like, this is actually better than I thought it was. And also, I can't tell anybody to play this because they'll get addicted and <laughs> die in a South Korean cyber internet cafe. When they're playing this. That's their choice, Bruce. You can't make that for them. That's true. It's a good point. But it's also really good. It is really good. Atlas levels of UI design. This music is alright. Rock is coming back. Is it? Who's bringing it back? Which which band? Uh, we gotta we gotta bring back. I mean, Creed is bringing it back. Creed? Yeah, there's a Creed resurgence. Because everyone's starved for rock. There's been too much EDM with with gossamer, flighty, Bjork-sounding female singers. We need some like. <laughs> yeah, that's 
Totally not true, because Chapel Roan and Sabrina Carpenter are taking over the world right now. I mean, because, yeah, because there's been a, a thirst. There's been an underserved musical audience. We need some fucking angry new metal again. <laughs> oh, Fred Durst, actually, uh, Limp Bizkit just released a new single. There you go. There you go, validated. I'm right. There it is. <laughs> there it is. No, I really do think, like, like grungy, moody, guitar-leading rock music has been gone for so long. Now, granted, it's always existed. I just mean in the, like, pop culture scene. Are we still in Zenless? What's happening here? No. Is this part of the anthology? A thousand. No. When do you think uh, Starfield's gonna release that that rover? I mean, it was tonight, right? Is it, they said tonight. What does yeah. tonight mean? Hmm. Because tonight is right now for Gamescom. That's true. Hmm. It must be. A, it must be right now then. Can anyone in chat verify? Can, can anyone in chat verify that there is a rover in Starfield now? Is the Star Car available? Star Rail now. Hmm. Little girl. Do you know how to get to the seat of divine force? Little girl. Oh, it's the other endless game, or one of the other endless games. I checked a few minutes ago, and nothing is what somebody said. Ouch. Hmm. He, did, he did the anime. <laughs> 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 I don't know what that means. Collaborating with Fate means you can There's collaborate with 17 games, three movies, five different TV series that take place in 18 different timelines. General known for her prowess in martial arts. Okay, now huh. we're heading to the Arkhamverse huh. for Batman Arkham Shadow in oh, VR. VR. It is a completely new Arkham Saber. VR, VR, VR. I think I have a, hold on. I think I have a, I have a Saber. Camouflage has done an incredible saber. Uh, I have a saber. World and combat into VR. And what kind of saber? What are you talking about? First look at the actual gameplay, a gameplay trailer for Batman Arkham Shadow. <laughs> what is he talking about? Here you go, Bruce. What? It's saber. This is just a mini fig. No, it's saber. There she is. This rat. John Dark, I believe. Plague. She's the reincarnation of. I don't know, man. Fucking fate. Fate is some bullshit. I tried to get into it. <sighs> fate uh, is Western comics, where it's like everything you, that you that you like perceive about it doesn't seem good, but it's only because it seems like it depends on like 18 other things. But then when you do those 18 other things, those also depend on 18 other things. So all you're doing is reading connected material and convincing yourself that it all makes sense and that it's all good. She's wearing stockings. She's wearing like, if you look under underneath her dress, there's just stockings. Targets are all city employees. There you go. Civil servants. That's not a saber at all. I thought you meant like a lightsaber. No. I mean, I got those somewhere too. But. Symbol. You could have been a god. So you actually, you have to actually punch with the VR things? That's gonna get exhausting. Alfred, we tried it your way. Now we do it mine. Something big's going down tonight. Facebook gave them hundreds of millions of dollars to make this game. Because they were making a new Batman game, and Facebook said, make it VR and put it on the Meta Quest, and we'll give you two hundred million dollars. Aww. And they said, how much? They yeah. said two hundred million dollars. <coughs> Done. You got it. Two hundred million dollars. That will absolutely make it so that I can uh, have legacy money for the rest of my life. I can bring the Rat King to you. Wow, Rat King. The Rat King. Fellas, are you mad that Harley Quinn shot Batman in the head? Who? When? Then you can be Batman now. Are you talking about uh, well, that the Joker 2 starring Lady Gaga? Oh, I'm excited for that movie. Yeah? yeah? That should be fun. Lady Gaga's a good actor. Metropolis Cologne will transform into the vibrant Gamescom City Festival. There will be great music on three... I'm just impressed that they like they actually make you do punching motions for <laughs> Batman punching. Now, if you haven't been there yet, you should definitely... You can play that game for like 15 minutes before you get exhausted. Unless they make you just not really do a whole lot of combat. It's probably just buttons to 
to punch. I would say. No, there were like arrows. You had to like swing the things. You can probably change it. So you can just sit there slack in your chair. <laughs> The first game I mean, that's real VR right there. June ...and exceeded all of our expectations with over 100,000 fans immersed in the gaming universe. It was a fantastic show, and next year, it's going to be even bigger. Cool. And bigger? I want to go to Brazil. Gamescom Asia Jeff. returns this October. Jeff, you join in on if you're listening, he's invite not, me to... He's not listening. We didn't even sign up for the co-stream. Yeah, we didn't. And much, much that means we're not featured in the, law, in the list on the website or whatever. There's also like a Warframe drop that we didn't sign up for. We blew it. Ah, uh, God damn it. Now, who is ready for another world premiere? That's a shot, baby. Wait, hold on. They didn't say it. She said it. All right, take it. Let's do it. Let's take a shot. Bruce, how do we keep self-sabotaging like this? This is bullshit because they didn't say world premiere. They didn't do the fucking world premiere. We could have. They still didn't do it. But yes, I'll take the shot. <laughs> so is this little knife? Oh, it's Bandai. What is it? Hey, you I'm intrigued. I think this might be Little Nightmares 3. <laughs> anyway, uh, Jeff. Invite me to Brazil. I'll go. Yeah, I'll go if you pay my money. <clears throat> Jeff doesn't. He's not listening to you. I can be the Bruce and I can be the Statler and Waldorf. Well, because as don't we want a Statler and Waldorf. No, dude. As as we've seen with Star Wars Outlaws, the only way to be legitimate is to criticize something. It's to be negative. It's the only way to prove that you're not oh, owned by the point. system. That's a good point. Yeah. So we're up there in the rafters. We're in the box seats. We're just talking shit the whole time. That's right. Yeah. And that way, the show seems legitimate because he invited us to be there. Anyway, world premiere. It's a little nightmares. This doesn't make any sense. They didn't play the graphic. They don't have one because Jeff can't get them anymore. They do because they played it at the beginning of Borderlands, remember? There wasn't a graphic. Yeah, they it? said the world premiere. They the said it, but there wasn't like a like a 3D I text. There was a world premiere graphic at the beginning of Borderlands. I could be I could be uh -oh. hallucinating. All right, all right, all right, all right. I could be hallucinating. I'm going to stake one shot on the fact that there wasn't a graphic chat. Tell me if I'm wrong or not. I thought there was a graphic. What a nightmare! <clears throat> I thought for sure there was a graphic. There might have been a graphic. I could have been screaming at the something. World premiere. Man, the publishers of Firewatch, that game that came out ten years ago. You know when you watch a movie trailer and it's like from the producers of this movie that yeah, came yeah, out ten years yeah. from the producers of Independence Day. Did you see that in 2024? And you're like, you didn't have one hit since Independence Day. That's the one you had to pick. Yeah, it was a Roland Emmerich. Produced this television show that I watched on Peacock. Oh, I'm excited to watch that. It's not very good. For those about to die, oh, but, but oh, he uh, produced. He didn't direct. No, he directed. He okay, he directed right, a, few, right. yeah, a few episodes. Um, but there's a child that dies in that. They they uh, slit a child's throat. Fuck me. Ouch. And I was like, Well, Roland. <clears throat> I don't really want to watch this anymore. But they slit a child's throat. That's brutal. So there you go. Like, there wasn't a camera cutaway. It wasn't off screen or anything. They showed it. Dude. And I was like, boy, oh boy. Why did I watch so much of this? <laughs> and I watched the whole thing. Does that hit you way harder now that you're a parent? Um, no, because it's still fake and roll it's rolling Emmerich. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you know. So they just had to prove how brutal the world is. No world premiere graphic. Okay, so they're only saying world premiere. You guys like that one? That's a beautiful game. Herdling. From Panic and Okamoto. I'm so glad to share that with you tonight. All right, Gamescom, we have a There was not a graphic. By the way, it's not very good. Uh, I wouldn't waste your time uh, watching those about to die. Yeah, I was I hoping... I watched the whole thing. Don't do not do it. The whole, the whole series? The whole season. Wow. Well, I'm it glad you did that, Bruce, because it took me weeks to get through it. And tonight, he's here... Literally weeks. ...to reveal his brand new Kojima? game, which he's secretly been working on for the past Secret. two years. Please join me, Gamescom, in welcoming to o l Peter Molyneux. Oh! Yeah! That's our old friend, Peter Molyneux. Oh, wow, he's even throwing back to Albion. That's fun. Is this not the NFT game? <laughs> How did we not have a shot roll for Peter? Oh, he's his mic's back. not on. It's because he never shows up. Peter! Incredible honor is Where's Milo, Peter? Peter? Where's Milo? Where's my creepy Peter, British child? It's, this is so I love fun. Peter Molyneux. So a couple months ago, and the crowd goes mild. Bullshit. Like, oh, Peter I'm tried. On a game. Peter was Kojima, but less successful. He Didn't he make that it? game where like everybody contributed to that one big himself. circle? Yeah, uh, Goddess. Right. Well, that was the... Wait, Goddess was the one that happened after the Cube game. The Cube. What's inside the Cube? I thought to myself, I need to come home. I need to come home to PC on console. Yes, you do, Peter. I've looked at Dungeon Keeper. I've taken some... Classic Dungeon Keeper? 
that I've wanted to explore further with the legendary black scammer. Black Somebody called him a scammer. Ah, oh, bullshit. Things from black and white. I've done the same with Fable. And nah, people, people in the games industry have no appreciation for ambition. None. This project he tried, man. He made some pretty weird games. From those games. Yeah. Oh, you want to know a hero shooter? <laughs> okay, fine. Anyone can make that. Peter Molyneux can make black and white. So I'm and uh, people, like people didn't like it? And Russell Shaw and Ian Wright, the people that helped. It wasn't quite what he said it would be, but <laughs> that's what ambition is. <laughs> How does Todd Howard get, get lionized for lying to people for years and see, somehow Peter Molyneux it gets shit on? Same thing. Same fucking thing. Because people still are playing Todd Howard's games and well, people are not playing Peter Molyneux's games? No, you're right about that. It's incidents. <laughs> uh, people that got consoles played Oblivion and they were like, Blah, Todd Howard's a genius. People that got consoles didn't play Black and White, did they? <laughs> no, they didn't. Here we are in the familiar... I didn't, you know, I didn't expect Lawrence to defend Peter Molyneux today, but here we are. I mean, I like, I like game developers that do something different. I mean, he does do something different yeah. to not much success, but yes, you're correct. Well, here we are. Where, where's Todd? Oh, they put a car in Starfield. Wow. Never been done before. A car in a game? Wow. Oh. Everybody's excited to re-download Starfield. Give me a break. But people are going to play that game, and they're not going to play Peter Molyneux's games. <laughs> oh, we got the black and white hand. Look at that. Send the poor people to eat some bread? Wow. Make your own sandwiches? There is a you can make your own sandwiches, man. Uh, well, you can make a meat oh, pie. Oh, 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 oh. Able three had a pie-making mini game. How about that? Man, oh man, this might have the same lasting effect as Skyrim. I think people might be playing a lot of this. But here's the thing. Uh, oh, in most other in most other mediums, right? People can differentiate between popular success and artistic merit. It's true. Yeah, you're right. But somehow in games, people don't differentiate yet. It's a good point. It's Actually, more like yeah. if it's sold good, it's good. And if it's sold bad, it fucking sucks. No, sorry, there's a difference there. It's a good point. And also the whims of the audience change over the decades, so Molyneux made some good shit. It wasn't exactly what he said because he's a dreamer. Kojima's a dreamer too. So is Todd Howard, but people don't hold their feet to the fire in the way they do Molyneux just because he wasn't commercially successful, and it's not fair. People keep calling him a scammer. Did he scam people? He's a producer. <laughs> He gets money, all right? Uh, I don't know that he's a scammer. <laughs> all right. <laughs> he, uh, when you when you put the mic in front of him, the man just starts dreaming. He dreams and he talks, all right? That's what he does. That's, it. That's who he is. All right? <laughs> when you say all right a lot, all right? I start to doubt you a little more. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Because you were convincing me for a second. Okay. It is interesting how this game is intentionally evoking some of the successes of his past. <laughs> oh, bread sword! Somebody said, sorry, this is an art we necessarily need to foster. Wow, you judged that real quick. I'm gonna be honest with you, I think we should foster all sorts of art. Doesn't yeah. matter what it is. I think art should be fostered regardless, and I don't mean spend money on it. I just mean uh, encouraging it. I just, I like games that attempt to do more than games can. Because you never land where you- <laughs> I'm uh- <laughs> I was brought up on video games. The difference is I'm pretentious <laughs> and Bruce is a much more practical, practically minded producer. Well, but I- Guys, we're just foiling each other. Like, yeah. I'm just listening to what Lawrence is saying. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what- Like, he's totally right about the fact that more games should be made and they should be more ambitious, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. I love that stuff. Who I might become. <gasps> From- It's Yennefer! F M V from Witcher. F M V. Man, I'm excited for this. Whatever this is. It is time. Also, my phone lit up, and I saw that I had texts from Steph, which means she might be warning me about something. Oh, really? Dude, Perfect. did you see the F M V fucking change into the game? Do you want me to get it for you? <laughs> you want me to get your phone? Oh. So you make sure. I, I like being on edge. All right. I hear you. Like being active. If it's really a big deal, Steph will come into Twitch chat <laughs> and tell me about the hideous medical issue that I have that's becoming visible on camera. <laughs> this looks rad, dude. Whatever the fuck this is. So they just took the the actress from Witcher and then made a video game around her. That's right. That's all they did. It's just that easy. Okay. 
It's got a dirigible. It's got the Quaster pack. Oh, I bet you can. That's a pre-order bonus. <laughs> I can't wait to unlock the Quaster, Quaster pack. Oh, I'll be like a child on Christmas morn. <laughs> Run downstairs and enjoy my sugar dates and open my Quaster pack. <laughs> you can pay an extra $10 for the Quaster pack. <laughs> Arena Breakout, infinite. Uh, this is the, uh, so this free to play mm -hmm. has been like, not taking over but Twitch, but a lot of people are playing this. And it's Tarkov, it's Tarkov. Oh, okay, yeah. it's new Tarkov. It's fun, I actually, I played it and it's, it is enjoyable. This is also yet another like 10 cent sort of, you know, whatever, we, it's, they're all the same. Yeah, it's another version of the thing that's already doing well. Oh, look at that lighting though. Hmm. I mean, again, fun. Looked good when I played it. Let me pull the switch. I don't know. To me, GTFO was the perfect, the perfect of this kind of experience. Yeah, well, that's PVE, and this is all PVP, so. But when it's PVP, it's like the game becomes different, right? Like there's the rule set that the game enforces, and there's an experience that can be enforced by that. But when other players are in the game and they want to win, they're always going to push the rules to the boundaries yeah. of whatever the game allows. And then it becomes different. Like, it, it's not what the developers intended. It's whatever the rules allow. And that's the new game. And I'm not as much of a fan of that, to be honest. The emergent game is not nearly as fun as the developer-crafted game for me most of the time. I'm, I, I kind of agree with you, actually. I'm, generally speaking, those games are like... I know if I haven't played them the first few days, they're so sweaty that I can never play them again. That's the problem. It's like so. you're you're up against teens and twenty somethings that have a lot of disposable time. Oh, yeah. we got we got flappy pants with straps. Pink pants. I'm into this. Hello, 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 hello. hello. That's... Welcome to Gamescom. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for having Man, us. These pants are taking me. Blizzard. This is such a cargo pants are back. It's such a special time to be sharing it here with everyone at Gamescom, and we're just really honored and grateful to be here. Wait, well, we're very glad. Wasn't Johanna Ferris like the one that they added from like Activision Esports to be the CEO of Blizzard? I mean, probably. The, uh, yeah, this is how she's relating to the Gen Zers. Particularly big moment for. I mean, it's better than what we had at Blizzard. We have celebrations and uh, jab, <laughs> Jalen Brack. And then the like the co-female CEO that resigned in six months because they didn't pay her as much as the dude they put her next to <laughs> after they got busted by California and the federal government for not paying women money. <laughs> ah, whatever. But she's hip. She's wearing a Bobby Kotick's long gone. All right. It's go time. He's gone forever. He's going to he's probably going to head up on one of the CEO, the AI companies that takes over our world. And I just but at least he's gone from Blizzard. Look at her kicks, activism. man. The wow. Saga. Imagine being... Creative territory wow. For us, Everything about this ensemble says, I am game. I will wear whatever you want me to wear. I will say whatever you want me Maybe to say. Maybe that's what she wears, Lawrence. We can't wait to embark on it. Maybe that's what she wears. I don't think an eSport yeah, uh, executive... This month is time for that. Maybe that's what she wears. Know you know what? You said, so this would be our class. If we were the CEO of Blizzard, what would you wear? Would you wear this? A ton of ways we're going to be able to celebrate. I could afford better than this if I were the CEO of Blizzard, right? <laughs> I could afford a house with air conditioning. There will be more details on that, but players will be able to Dude, she would have chosen that. Remember when Jay Allard was meant to be the like spokesman for the Xbox 360? And he went from being a dweeby nerd to wearing like cool blazers and shirts and stuff? I do remember that. Image work, man. Also, for some reason... I'm offended she's not wearing a belt. Okay, well that's I feel like if you have your shirt tucked in, you should have a belt. I think you might be looking in too much to this to her outfit. And instead, maybe you should just accept what she's saying. She's an executive dog. That's true. No, I shouldn't accept what she's saying. And also, she's skeptical. She looks good. Don't get me wrong. But also, she's a... Lawrence is right. She's an executive, and they want our money. All right? And every executive wants our money. No, no, that's, that's bad logic, but... We don't know that she's placed there. We don't know that. They've fired so many people. If they could have found a woman of color that actually worked at Blizzard to promote up. Weird. I guess there weren't that many. How strange. Okay. Thanks for bringing a little scoop along. This long. I don't know. I got beef with Blizzard. I know. So do a lot of people. But for real, like a big year, Diablo. Oh yes, Diablo on October eighth. Yes. We are super excited for the Vessel of Hatred, and we're even more excited that here at Gamescom this week will be the chance to have the first ever live 
hands-on experience with our very new Spirit Born class. It's beautiful. Spirit Born! Awesome Isn't it fun that they had to like remake the monk? The vessel of hatred so special. And not be... All right. Why didn't they do a the person of color? Yep. Oh, wait, why, why well? didn't they make the we monk have, again? Here's China. A look at our mercenary companion. Wait, what does China have to do with it? On behalf of the vessel. Of what do you mean? Why? It's do you remember the Force Awakens trailers, Bruce? Or sorry, the posters. Do you remember how they maybe didn't include certain characters? Oh, no. So really? Is that why? I mean, I don't know why. I don't know why. No. I just, I observe trends, that's all. No. I'm just observing trends, that's all. But then again, you know, we're looking at a lady of color executive. They can't call someone a monk? No, they had to remake the class so that they wouldn't draw comparisons. Ready to stand and fight Oh no. What a bummer. This is my, this is my, uh, my deep state theory. I can make a whole YouTube video about this and make a lot of views. But <laughs> it's not a very fun video to make. I, I mean, my my, my uh, conspiracy is that this is why they're reforming Tusken Raiders in Star Wars. is because you're not allowed to depict savage races in oh, Chinese I see, media. Yeah. I see what you're saying, yeah. Yeah, so, so suddenly the, the Mandalorian comes along and, oh, they can talk and they have culture and... I mean, they they raped Anakin's mom to death, but also they're they're good people. But they're but fine. They're yeah. No, no. <laughs> well, that was just a subsect of the. Yeah, no, no, it's a different. That's a whole different class. We don't worry about them. Our media is very fine and clean and depicts races. This is all John Cena's fault. Remember when he did the? Hey, how the, uh, <laughs> the apology? <laughs> Being chilling. <laughs> Remember when he did the Chinese apology? Yeah, but he's done. He's done more like Make a Wish. Bing chillin'. Bing chillin'. <laughs> Bing chillin'. <laughs> this is not a political stream, all right? We're not Hassaning here. We're just enjoying video games. That's all. <laughs> Bing chilling. <laughs> That's uh. My wife Autumn and I constantly say that to each other. <laughs> what are you doing? We're Bing chilling. Hey, I'm Bing chilling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your rage. We are the pale hand, and we are the reason you need. Damn, they had the like predator clasp as the. Okay. Being chilling. How do you feel about Diablo <laughs> Four, Bruce? Being chilling. It's <laughs> a good answer. <laughs> That's just my Chinese well, apology. <laughs> My esteemed pleasure to introduce Brent Gibson, game director of Diablo 4. But wait, didn't Blizzard and Netties like kill their deal? Oh, no, wait, I think it's back on. No, it's back on, yeah. It's back on. What a weird six months. There must be some amazing stories about that. Absolutely. About how that so fell out. So many emails went back and forth, so many calls. Oh my God. Fuck gosh. you. Fuck you. I know, I know. It's no exception. We are hard at work at adding new. And then John Cena called up. Being chilling. <laughs> You're right. All right. <laughs> you know what, John? All right. You got it. You got me. <laughs> Partnerships back on. Fight alongside you in your battle against. I didn't think about being chilling. <laughs> We're also adding the Kuros Undersea, an all-new multi-layered dungeon that gives you the control on the types of challenges you're going to see, as well as the rewards you may get. And we also have the Isn't Dark that, Citadel. That's our brand new antithetical to what video games are, though. TV dungeon. You make the challenge, and you give me the re every reward. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's not true. Maybe for everybody, Lawrence. Video games are different for everyone. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you know you can go into the backyard and make up your own challenge whenever you want. <laughs> yeah, but it wouldn't be Diablo. <laughs> That's true. You can your own rewards. If I do a backflip, I get an ice cream bar. And then you just end up in urgent care as usual. <laughs> How do people backflip, man? How does anyone do that? Uh, right, practice. The a lot of practice. Action That's role playing world of the first Berserker Kazan, set for 2025 release. Intense combat. This is a different game. All right. Taking 3D cell first Berserker. In a brutal world from Nexon, coming to PC and console. Let's witness that. He's got one evil eye, but the, the squirt was coming out of the good eye. Isn't that weird? He's got the cable eye. Nexon. Wait, DNF universe. Isn't DNF League? No, it's not. I have no idea. We'll tear into the neck of the oh, this is absolutely a games as a service, yes. Of course. Obviously. Anything from Nexon is a games as a service. Well, it's an ARPG, yeah? Well, I guess I guess anything can be games as a service. I think that dev is new. Neopol? 
I face the opal. Uh, people, but neeple? Yeah, new people. That's kind of a interesting. Whatever the word is when you smash two words together. It's not an acrostic. That's radar. Uh, contraction? That's like don't. That's don't, yeah. Oh, portmanteau. portmanteau. That's, that's the it. one. Thank you very much. Okay, all we need is a parry. Just give me a bong. Yeah, I know. I know. At this rate, you will die. Your soul is mine. Your soul is... I was saying that last night when I was playing Black Myth Wukong because there was a few people that looked like Shang Tsung. Dude. Kerry Tokugawa is a legend. Your soul is mine. So many immaculate line reads in Holly Dub's Mortal Kombat. Ooh. There it there is. Was. Patang. Patang. It wasn't a bong, it was a patang. That's okay though. Got a Taurus Demon? What? Shuri has a really good idea. We should have a shot for a parry rule next time. Okay. All Every right. time you have a bong a or a pating. Absolutely. <gasps> Xbox. I gotta admit, I was I was just like two percent bummed that Doom the Dark Ages is, has parries now. You Wait, why are you bummed? You always wanted. You only uh. want dodges? Yeah, kind of. Because Black Myth Wukong is that. Your choices if you want that. Maybe I do want that. There's no parries. And every turn becomes an opportunity. Freaking uh, God of War did it really well. Where you like parry and then it's like all the energy charges into your shield and you just fucking smash somebody in the face with it. It's awesome, yeah. It's all downwind of uh, Zack Snyder's Immaculate 300. That's true. When he like parries and then he does a, like the shield yeah. spin and the bash. Yeah, yeah. Amazing movement. Also, Vivaldi's Winter in a City Builder. Those are two things I love. Your world now. I didn't know that was a City Builder game. I thought it was like a... I think it's a 4X. I thought it was a platform. No shit, dude. I think R is a 4X. What yes. am I doing not playing that right now? <laughs> right now. Right now. Oh, Dark and Darker Mobile? Oh, we got a wacky mobile ad. Man, Dark and Darker is like one of the slowest games you'll ever play. It is so slow. But it's on the phone now. Wait, how does that work? Mobile games are supposed to be fast. I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, the actual gameplay in Dark and Darker is so maddening, maddeningly slow. There's, it looks nothing like this. What if, you, what if I cool walked into the club with all my bros though? I'm playing Dark and Darker on my phone. No, it's still slow. Oh, that was the, that was the icon for the app there. Oh, no, wait, it's got to be a guy yelling with exposed teeth, looking kind of to the left. There you go. Every app icon and YouTube thumbnail. You hear that rock, though? That rock? I mean, the fake rock? Rock! Steph got me on Rock of Love. I've been watching that a lot lately. Dark Is that a reality Mobile show? Mm -hmm. With Brad Michaels in the oh, 2000s? Oh, yeah, that's right. Now from NetEase Games, this next trailer is a new life simulation game. A lot of NetEase, a lot of... Net a lot of uh, There's hmm. a lot of Chinese funding going That's through games. That's weird. Throwing, going through Gamescom opening night live, yes. Interesting. I mean, it's not interesting, no. There's a lot of money coming from China. Well, I, I think it's also... Like... Those devs are actually shipping games. Whereas American devs are all being laid off and not shipping anything. Or rather, they shipped things in 2020 and 21. It's true. Yeah, you're right. And now all the American game companies are like, hey, we got our money. Fuck off. There you go. China. <laughs> China. China. The problem is, though, from like a cultural exportation standpoint, the gamers don't give two shits about nationalism. They only care about media. So if China's shipping games, they're, they're going to win people them. over. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to play them. We need Tony Ox Pro Skater to come back and remind people what American values are. <laughs> We need Goldfinger right now. They're still active, by the way. You know that, Bruce? You know that, Bruce? Uh, no, still I didn't touring, know Still touring? Still active? Has it been a while since we've seen a new single from Goldfinger, but... <laughs> Zebrahead put out a new single. What? They did? Two new singles. They got a. They got an album coming. For real? My gosh. They were so popular when I was 16 years old. And they're still there. Nah. 
<laughs> there. They did replace the lead singer a while ago. What? But the lead singer went on to found another band called Less Than Kate, I think, that was okay. Wow, how did you know that? Good for you, on knowing Zebrahead's uh, history. Yeah, the many members of Zebrahead have splintered off into a whole universe of Zebrahead-related music. Oh. What the fuck was that? Flotopia. Okay. Hmm. All right, we got a Yeah, Offspring still doing it. Which will take you on an epic Offspring is getting increasingly adventure. sentimental in their old age, Indiana and I'm about that. Jones Yay! They better show the video here. They better show this fucking video. What video? There's video. There's new what gameplay. I told you there was a connection between ancient cultures <gasps> around the world. Puzzles. Oh, this is just Troy the talking as Troy. Does it exist? Yeah. Is it the key to some lost power? Was well, Troy Baker the voice of cover. Harrison? Yeah, I didn't know that. He does a really good job. I have to admit. I'm Troy Baker, and I didn't know that. Play indie. Wow, he's picking a statue up off a podium! Amazing! Myself included. Remember when video games used to do, like, other things instead of just recreating movie scenes? No, they did that. No, I'm- I don't know what I'm saying. As soon as I said that, I was like, that's bullshit. That's actually not true. Yeah, they've been movie video games for a long time. Yeah. And people complained about how bad they were when they were movie video come true. A dream that I cannot- Is there gonna be a big rock? He's gotta run? No, it's sand! Did he kiss it? He did. He did kiss it. Like That's something that Indiana Jones loved to do was kiss the things yeah. he picked up. Indiana Jones, famed archaeologist, smashed a priceless relic, kissed the... And the thrill of finding every clue. Indy is such a unique character. Professor, an archaeologist, a brawler, an explorer, the quintessential all-around adventure. And this game has everything you'd expect from an Indiana Jones <laughs> Mysterious Lawrence's fine. deep sigh. That's fine. I mean, I know you're gonna stream this, but I'm really curious to see what you think of it. I, yeah. I, it's more machine games. I like machine games. I do too. Yeah, I, we, we're, we like this developer. I have an incredibly deep affinity for machine games. Yeah. And Indiana Jones ought to be in the exact middle of their talent, but I don't see any of their talent expressed in any of these things. If anything, what I can hope is that they are excessively trying to make a mass market game here. And if it sells really well, then they did a great job. But that means, I mean, going back to our, our previous discussion, it's like, they were very artistically aggressive. I don't see any of that in this game, which is fine, as long as it sells. If it doesn't sell, then then they sold out for no reason, and that's sad. Right. I think, I think Lucasfilm obviously had a hand in it. In this, Holy so you know they couldn't be as artistically expressive because it's Indiana Jones, right? So they had to they had to be Indiana Jones, yeah. Like, but even that's frustrating. Thinking Doesn't back on the legacy of Lucas Arts, of which was one of the explore. most innovative developers that America ever had. Well, but back then out, right? they could do whatever the fuck they wanted. It was the nineties and the aughts. Yeah, yeah. it, it was a shit. different. There were billions world. of dollars at stake, and now there are. There are. You're right. So, okay, holiday release. Late holiday release, though. Yeah, I know. That might get delayed. There you have it. Indiana Jones and the Great The fact that it's not November is a bit scary. For Xbox but they're probably Game trying to push past COD. At least that's that's legacy thing. I thought, I thought COD was late October. The well, Games hmm. Bethesda wanted to share with you about Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. That that worries me. That's like they need the time. Yeah, no, I know. Me too. Oh, okay. Hey, multiplayer. The game <laughs> PlayStation 5 in yeah, okay, so the, this plays into the mass market idea that they right, they made this game for people to enjoy, yeah. not necessarily to like... One final game announcement for you. Check this out. World uh, he didn't say world premiere. One final. It's got to be a world premiere, though. This thing of ours. He didn't say world premiere, though. It's a brotherhood. He didn't say. Treachery. Hmm. I'm intrigued. The shot of the do not exist among us. Like the shotgun barrel was a very intentional shot, and it communicated a lot. And uh, religion. It's steampunk, though. Your life. With Jesus. It's got brass and fucking leather and crap. It's not Anno. They're not gonna save Anno for the. No. I hope not. Oh. Oh. oh okay. All right. Well. All right. <laughs> all right. Oh, that's it. Okay, this game is like four years away. Seymour, okay. Yeah. You're okay. Right. All 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 right. Did you like the first Mafia? I actually haven't played it. 
I played a little bit of it and it was whatever. 1900 Sicily during the origin. It was fine. Mm. Really, them releasing that late means they're maybe available to be in Game Awards window. With that classic mob. Do they think that that game is going to win Game Awards? Absolutely not. No. They do. Indiana Jones? They know that that game will not win a Game Awards. I mean, it might. Can't wait to show you all more. Dude, games journalists are all our age and they are all nostalgia. Ah, prone. Right. There's no way anybody thinks that an Indiana Jones game is going to make. Right, well, I mean, adjacency is important. If 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 it's good and it lands and people play it right before they vote. December, December 12th, when the Game Awards streams live everywhere for our 10th anniversary show, and it's going to be a very special night as we give you a sense of where games are going in the next decade. We no Kojima. Much no, now, of course not. Trust me. Kojima's way too busy for that. Show. Tweeting about right, movies well, that he's seen. My co-host Shots. Yeah. Didn't Thanks, Shocks. Posting a Thank you so much, Jeff. photo really of his iPod playing some emo from 2004. Can I say something in German, too? Let's do it. Don't want to show you up. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Uh, vielen Dank, ihr Lieben. Ich hoffe, ihr habt eine super, super Zeit. Und viel oh, boy. Poor, she is. Poor Shocks, because she didn't have her glasses on. Somebody was like, get out there. She just dunked She's like, where are my glasses? So much, Thanks, everyone. Enjoy Gamescom. Have a great night. Man, she nailed that German, though, hey? I mean, she, I, yeah. All right, Bruce, what do you think? Gamescom opening night live. How about that? Sounds like Clubfoot. What else do I remember? Uh, Peter Molyneux. Dirty tricks. Na, 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 uh, you. Borderlands uh, 4, which we already uh, knew about. What else? Yeah, Borderlands 4. There was a there was a hand that grabbed a mask. Uh huh. Said yeah. I want you. Mafia. Dun, wah, wah, wah. Uh, yeah, Tencent and Nettie's all over the place. Like, the entire show. Because they're actually shipping games. It's, it's frustrating that American AAA did not understand the value of AA. Like, it, dude, that headline of like, oh, Microsoft has like skunk works to ship AA games. No shit. They should have done that like seven years ago. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Money is money, man. And they're, they're finally figuring that out. Dying like the beast, whatever that is. Hold on. Yeah, uh, Monster Hunter looked cool. Uh, Infinity Nikki was there. <laughs> Karen. Terry. Terry Bogard. Black Ops. Black Ops campaign reveal is actually a pretty big get for old Jeff. It is. Goat uh, Simulator remaster. Yeah, another remaster. Uh, the uh, CG anthology of video game things. Uh, Little Nightmares 3, Dune. Bruh. Getting, getting raunchy out there. Fatal Fury, Mark of the Wolves is back. Monster Hunter Wilds. Money uh, Valley 3, seven, a little Civ. Bit. Remember Civ? Well, I that Civ. really tired for Axis developer. Marvel Rivals. There's uh, trees. Planting trees. Yeah, there's a car. Remember when Tencent came out to accept the uh, environmental award. That was pretty cool. That was my favorite part of the whole show. Batman VR. When Tencent came out and said, thank you very much. We are saving the world. That's right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Peter Molyneux, huh? Old Peter. Masters of Albion. They got Peter back. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait. Oh, and then, bang. <sighs> they got old Peter back, huh? Peter Molyneux. The legend returns. The Dungeon Keeper. Remember Dungeon Keeper? Syndicate? I mean, I remember, yes. I know yeah. you're talking about it. Yes, I, I do, yes. Fable. Remember Fable? Albion. I like Fable. Here's the thing. Masters of Albion is going to ship before Fable. The new Fable. You're right. It totally is. And it's going to be terrible and broken. But yes, you're well, correct. Well, yeah, but it'll have ideas. <laughs> that nobody wants to play? Yeah, that's right. I mean, I'll, I'll be interested. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll be interested to see the idea. Mmm. <laughs> Go watch Arc Raiders you missed. Okay, all right. Oh, I forgot about Arc Raiders. How can you forget? It's so important. Um, Where was Arc Raiders? Yeah, good question. Arc Raiders is just going to be a four-player co-op PvE thing, isn't it? Uh, this, this, is, this is good streaming, by the where way. Where is it at? Where is it at? Oh, Dune Awakening? How uh, could we forget? this right i don't know where it was dude techland i think it was after techland wasn't it i'm gonna go pee good luck go for it good luck finding that 
You know, it's okay. I don't care. It's time to listen to a little Kasabian. Just to make sure I don't get any any revenue from this. Oh! A new club foot wouldn't steer me wrong. Ah, how about that, folks? It's 2024, and this is our video game showcase. The the era of like AAA blockbusters is kind of done, to be honest. Uh, sequel sequel hype was not a good thing <laughs> to begin with, and uh, it's kind of good that it's dead. There was no way to to continue that escalation. I think it's. Um, I'm speaking as a, as a millennial here, but video games have ridden a escalation wave for a long time. And it was all kind of backed up by tech, but the tech has plateaued in, in regards to the kinds of games it can enable and the kinds of experiences it can show you. So I think maybe uh, we're all used to being wowed by the impossible with new game reveals, and that's just not a thing anymore. It can't be a thing anymore. It's, um, or, or maybe that's my lack of imagination. There's certainly, I knew formats, theoretically, like VR could, could enable those things, but I think about it like film. You know, you, you went from rudimentary film to films with sound, to films with color, to films with widescreen. Video games kind of had this, this similar escalation over the course of the 90s and the 2000s, where tech enabled fundamentally new and exciting kinds of experiences, but... Now we're just looking at the same old thing, like it's been formed up. Uh, you know the craters? Oh, our craters happen. Hold on, let me. Is this it? Wait, Kasabian? We can't. We can't play this. It's on a different track. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the edit will make it very easy. I hope. Uh, wah, wah, wah. Unless we sing it. <laughs> I'm telling you, Bruce, though, rock. It's got to come back. I mean, it does have to come back. You're right about that. It's not coming back, though. But you're right. It should come back, and it's not. The only thing I don't want is for the rock lifestyle to come back. What's the rock lifestyle? I'm just like, you know, just rock and roll. Just like grungy white dudes doing coke and banging chicks. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Know. But it, it's always the same chicks. It's just like <laughs> blonde, thin, leather-wearing babes. There's so many more babes in the universe. It's true. There are a lot of babes in the universe. Music's a little loud. Good. <laughs> Don't worry. It compresses when we talk. You might perceptively think that you're not hearing us, but you actually are. <laughs> wow. Lawrence is gaslighting the audience. I love that. Yeah, you actually are. I uh, this this is some I've listened to my own recordings Bruce believe it or not and the thing is like <laughs> your brain tells you oh I can't hear that if the audio is the same level as the speaking volume but the thing is when I talk the the audio gets quieter so it you should, actually can't yeah. hear us yeah it should did you pee okay I peed great felt great great to hear yeah man that's a really short song I'm pretty sure I listened to this while I was wearing my Fatal Fury hat in 2005. Sick. Yeah. Man, you were the coolest dude. Oh, I was, and, and it took it took the rest of the world a good couple of decades to catch up to that. Walked around and said, hey, you guys ever heard of Kasabian? They went, yeah, obviously. They played on the radio all the time. Yeah, it's all over the place. Oh, I don't listen to the radio. I thought I just discovered it. <laughs> no, 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 nerd. You, you just have to go outside a little bit. Uh, there's a good video from Tom Scott explaining about volume... Explaining exactly this. Great. I'll go listen. <laughs> hey, should we all watch the, the Tom Scott no, video? No, we shouldn't. Mm. We actually need to send our recording to Shookland. Yeah, let's let's cut it, huh? Let's cut it and send it to Shookland. Did you already cut it? Not yet. There it is. 